Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh, that's uh, my thing's doing that. Unfortunately, my mouth isn't working today, but luckily I think you can hear me. I hope. Well, at least if you can't hear me, I'm sure chat will mention it in a moment. Yes, good. We look like we're all good. Fantastic. Hello, everybody. What are we going to be doing today? We're going to be playing the brand new DLC Stellaris Galactic Paragons. Thanks to Paradox for giving me access, specifically thanks to um, the community team, uh, Mordred Viking, the community manager who uh, pushed for me to get access to it. So thank you very much to Mordred. So we are now going to be looking at the DLC one day early, which is going to be a lot of fun. You've, we've seen some things so far. We've seen a lot of the new civics, we've seen a lot of the new traits, but we have not seen everything. I guess we might as well just dive straight in and uh, and take a look at the empire we're going to be playing with today. I think that, that would be good, wouldn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Alrighty, so here we are. Welcome to the new DLC. And wow, uh, first off, David, thank you very much for gifting 10 memberships um, and welcome new members. Also, talking about the new DLC, tomorrow I'm going to be hosting another live stream. That live stream will be thanks again to the community manager, um, Mordred Viking at Stellaris, the Stellaris community manager. I have got a few DLC keys to give away to you lovely people watching at home. So if you tune into that one, I'll make sure to do the DLC giveaway early so that you can unlock the DLC and straight away go in and start playing the game while we are still live. Alrighty. I'm also going to be giving away a couple of DLC keys to uh, people who are in my Discord community as well. So if you want to do that, come and join the Discord community. Yernsack, thank you very much. Yernsack's just posted a link. Thank you very much for that. If you go to the community, go to my announcements, scroll up a little bit, there's a Google form to fill in just to outline that you would like one of the new keys, and you can also win a key that way. On top of that, I'm going to be hosting, hosting a, a multiplayer game, a Cold War event for the release. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I'll be giving away some keys to people playing in that game too. So, Basically, we got lots of freebies tomorrow. Stick around for that. Alrighty. Shall we take a look at this build, which is a build that will try to maximize our leaders? Okay, so we've got the, the talented trait. Now, talented is a bit better than it used to be, especially early on in the game. It gives us minus 10% leader upkeep and minus one leader maximum negative traits. That negative trait effect is really good later on, but the minus 10% leader upkeep is good at the start because we're going to be spending quite a bit of unity on our leaders, especially if we level them up quickly. And so reducing leader upkeep as much as we can will be really, really useful. We also don't want our leaders to die. To that end, I'm going to take enduring at the start of the game. Yes, I've not gone mad, ladies and gentlemen. Enduring will actually be in the build today. It's it's a trait that usually I've gone Phew, terrible. It's one point. It will tie us over so we don't have any unfortunate mistakes. This means we've got at least 50 years to go through one of the ascension paths, get some extra technology, that sort of thing, to push back this death date. I'm also grabbing incubators because that is one of the best starting growth civic, uh, starting growth traits, I should say for any pops you have. Not so much on your capital, you'll end up with a few percentage positive pop growth at the start, but on your first colonies, it's very, very useful. Now, we're going to be going with, let's let's look at the, uh, let's look at the ethics first. Now, there are a couple of things I wanna show you off. First of all, authoritarian and egalitarian have been changed a little bit. So, fanatic egalitarian now not only does what it used to do, but gives you plus one leader pool size. This means that you have a larger choice of leaders when you choose their starting traits, and that can be really, really powerful. Some of the traits, as you're going to see in a moment, are actually really balmy at the start of the game. I'm specifically talking about some of the economic traits, okay? So, yeah, that's going to be a bit wild. On the other hand, though, Fnatic Authoritarian has had a bit of a nerf, and now you get minus one leader pool size. 
The only reason I might now take Fnatic Authoritarian would be if I am going to take, uh, let me find it, do, 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 Oppressive Autocracy. That gives you plus one leader capacity and minus 20% leader upkeep and requires Fnatic Authoritarian. It's got some also some really cool things going on with Dystopian Society Living Standard. We'll look at that Living Standard in a moment if people want or a little bit later. But um, yeah, that, that one is kind of kind of kind of great actually in a lot of ways economically there's a lot of economic benefits to suppressing your population will our admiral be better than Bul uh, bulwark admiral I, I, I thank you very much for your super chat i don't quite understand the question will be better than a bulwark admiral i i don't know what a bulwark admiral is um we're also going for militarists so Authoritarian, Militarist, and Spiritualist. Now, Militarist and Spiritualist don't really have much to change. The reason we're going Authoritarian and Militarist is the leaders, there is a leader for Authoritarian uh, and a leader for Militarist that are really, really good. Um, one of the Authoritarian leaders is just, if we can roll that today, mwah, chef's kiss. It's, you get plus 50% worker resource output. It's like having a specific planet which has all of the special uh, resource, the special basic resource edicts just turned on as a basic. It's it's nuts. It's balmy. How much is the DLC going to cost? So that was actually revealed um, sometime last week in one of the forums. One of the developers said the DLC will be fifteen dollars, fifteen euros, or I think it's like thirteen pounds equivalent. Which I think is actually a very competitive price. I was worried it might be twenty dollars, twenty five dollars, but it's not. It's actually relatively cheap. So we're going for Heroic Pass. Now, what does this do? This gives us plus one leader starting trait. So all of our leaders will start with two traits. That's really good. We also get minus one leader maximum negative traits. Combine that with the... Uh, combine that with talented over here so we're at minus two leader maximum negative traits the negatives can be really bad so reducing those is very helpful especially as you level your leaders up we'll also have a counselor position here grand storyteller granting us more leader experience and governing ethics attraction that's a nice one too especially because it's available to every different leader type then we're going to take distinguished admiralty this one at the start of the game is actually really 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 good because our leaders will start if they're admirals at level three and we will get to pick those extra traits that they have when they've leveled up from two to three or well, one two and three which means we start with four traits and we'll pick two of them bear with me i just need to have a momentary cough i apologize ladies and gentlemen <coughs> sorry about that um leaders from vassals get a special buff ah okay I uh, I haven't actually looked into exactly what that trait now does, the vassal trait. So I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. But that's a good point, okay? Uh, so is Philosopher King good now? I think it can be with certain builds. So Heroic Pass Distinguished Admiralty. We also get, really importantly here, 20% extra Admiral Experience gain and 3% extra Admiral Experience gain if we take the Lord High Admiral plus additional ship starting experience. Did you know? You can now stack ship starting experience to get not 100, but 1,000 ship starting experience, meaning you start your ships at experience level 2, which is really quite powerful. Oh my goodness me, righty. So, the origin I'm going to do today is Prosperous Unification. We could do Under One Rule. I don't actually want to show that off right now, today. Um, I'm going to be doing that in a separate we're, separate video. We're now looking today at specifically kind of this Empire Maker. Right. Also, Imperial will be giving us 10% resources from jobs in our capital from the start of the game, which is excellent, and additional edict fund from our leader. Let's take a look at that leader because we now have the ruler editor. So I'm going to be choosing an admiral so that our ruler here starts on level three. I'm also going to be grabbing eye for talent to give them plus 10% leader experience gain. I could grab something like Warlike, giving us 5% extra ship weapons damage. That's really good. Charismatic is nice. Extra Edict Fund from the start. Ship Upkeep from Logistic Understanding can be nice. We could also go down the Scientist route, go for Spark of Genius right from the start of the game. Uh, that can be very good as well. Principled is okay, plus two stability. When it levels up, I think you get plus five. That's, that's also a nice one. Empire-wide. Don't forget these are going to be empire-wide effects. What is the general trait? The general trait is spycraft. So generals are good at adding spying. Meh. Honestly, I'm a bit meh about that one. Right. There is also something I want to show off, which is something we haven't seen before, and that is 
the Megacorp Civics and exactly what they do. You might want to be screenshotting these, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to put them on Reddit or something like that. So, Brand Loyalty does basically the same. Now it grants us plus 2% branch office value. It's all right, pretty nice. Catalytic Reprocessors, or Recyclers even, grants us minus 2% Metallurgist upkeep. That is fundamentally better than the equivalent version over here for regular empires that has plus five food from farmers. Megacorp Catalytic Processing might actually be somewhat viable. Oh, the avatar is blocking the Civic. Let me move. Sorry, I apologize. Thank you, chat. I'll sit over here. Let me see. Catalytic, let's go back. Let's try again. So, ah, here we go. Brand loyalty. There we are. Apologies about that. I didn't notice. All right. I activated cloaking. You can see them, but not really. Okay, let's try again. Brand loyalty plus 2% branch office value. Okay. Catalytic recyclers minus 2% metallurgist upkeep. Now, we can get our leader up to a whopping level 10 some point, possibly. That's minus 20%. We can also get effective counselor skill above that even further. I've tested it. It's possible. So I think we can get about 13. So we could end up with minus 26% metallurgist upkeep on all our planets, plus the bonuses to reduce metallurgist upkeep from having the planet set to that, which is really quite good. Cost reduction is capped at 90%, but we can still get it really high. So that's that's something. And it's, it's easier because we wouldn't necessarily have to ascend and we can get to kind of a comfortable 45%. Corporate death cult, pretty much the same, but this time our sacrificial edicts go up by 2% per skill level. Corporate hedonism, our entertainers all produce an additional 0 0.8 uh, trade. I don't think this is that good because if you're going for a trade-focused build, you're actually going to be getting plenty of... Um, amenities from your possibly clerks, possibly uh, also your merchants. So you probably won't actually have entertainers. Criminal Heritage will now be granting you an additional 0.25 cr uh, trade per criminal per skill level. So you're at skill level four, that's one extra trade per criminal on a criminal branch office. Interesting. Empire size from branch offices on franchising goes down by 2% per skill level. I don't actually think that's a great bonus. We're losing a small fraction of a fraction. So, eh. Free traders, commercial pact efficiency plus 2%. That's that's quite interesting, actually. That's quite nice. Gigacorp is what uh, the Ascensionist is called. That grants 2% unity per skill level. Gospel of the Masses, Temple of Prosperity ethic shift chance goes up by 5%, meaning you're much more likely to be able to shift the ethics of another empire if you set up branch offices on their worlds. I think this one is actually great for role play. Um, I think that's really awesome. Indentured assets, enslaved pops generate 0.2 trade per skill level. This one is really good. Oh goodness me. Knowledge mentorship, it's exactly the same as Vaults of Knowledge, so I don't really need to go from that for too long. Letters of Mark, plus 20 trade, trade protection, minus 10% ship upkeep, plus one mercenary enclave. And then Privateer Acquisition Officer gives you plus 1% ship fire rate and plus one trade protection per skill level. So you'll get more fire rate, you'll have an additional mercenary enclave, your ship upkeep goes down, and you don't have to have as much trade protection. Does Feudal Society still make leader upkeep free? If not, that's kind of a nerf. Yes, it does. It still makes it free just for governors. And it also reduces the cost of buying your leaders too, which is rather helpful. Master Crafted gives you additional armor hit points, same as in the regular bio one. That's weird. Um, quite good though, getting extra armor hit points from a, from a, I, th I don't know why they bo boosted the PVP potential of Master Crafters, but wow, wow. Media Conglomerate gives you additional governing ethics attraction. Eh, it's thematic, but eh. Mutagenic Spars allows your attendance to produce an extra unity. Again, okay. Naval Contractors reduces ship build costs. Now, you can now get ship build costs down to minus 90%, ladies and gentlemen. It is... I'm going to be making a video about that. It's wild. Permanent Employment grants you additional organic pop assembly speed. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Farm Estate gives you plus 1% pop growth and plus 1% habitability. This one, additionally to getting amenities and trade value on your medical workers. So medical workers would now produce seven amenities and four trade value, meaning this is basically the first building you put down on every colony as a farm estate megacore. Really good. 
precision cogs, plus one leader upkeep, minus 20, sorry, plus one leader capacity, minus 20% leader upkeep, and minus one leader maximum negative traits. This one, I think, is quite nice. You also get additional specialist happiness and specialist political power. Good if you've got slaves, I guess, but otherwise, meh. Private military companies gives your, means your soldiers now, and this one's wild, your soldiers produce plus 0 0.25 stability per skill level of the leader. So if you have a leader with, let's say, a skill level of six, you're getting one and a half extra stability per soldier per planet. Let's say you put six soldiers on a planet, that is a whopping, what's that, um, nine stability from soldiers from just having six of them on each planet. That's amazing. Really amazing. Private Prospectors gives you reduced outpost build cost and star-based influence cost. That's okay, but again, I don't think that's that like, great, especially because early on when this civic matters, you are going to have um, you're going to have very low level leaders. So really, I don't think it's that amazing. Privatized exploration now grants you reduced star-based mo star module cost, star-based building cost, and orbital station build cost. That I think is is kind of nice too. Public relations specialist, your envoys are a bit better. Okay. Refurbishment decision now means your chance to salvage ships if you get to level 10 here will be at 20%. That's really high. You can actually get it to about 25 if you get effective skill level up to 15. So, wow. Ruthless competition reduces leader upkeep and cost quite a bit, up to 40% at level 10. You can probably get it to 60% though. With other bonuses, you can get leader upkeep down to minus 90% on everything, which is just silly. That's just silly. Um... Trading post means your trade hubs produce additional uh, uh, trade. That's all right. That's not so amazing. That's all right. Trawling operations means your anglers and your pearl divers produce more trade value. If you like it, then that's good. That's all I can say there. Finally, Relentless Industrialist does the same as the bio one, and that is plus 2% minerals from miners. So the, the main shocker here really is that Catalytic Recyclers gives minus 2% metallurgist upkeep. That's, that's the wow there. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go back oh actually i can probably just i'll remember what was the civic choices uh distinguished admiralty and heroic past right we're gonna take eye for talent i'm gonna make sure to put chapters in this if you're not watching live so so there we are um you want me to show some hive traits i suppose i could so autonomous drones we've seen that aesthetic the issue with hives is they don't have counselors. So in a lot of ways, hives are taking a bit of a slap in the face. You have nodes, but you don't have any counselor traits. And counselor traits, as you'll see in a moment on bio empires, are absolutely bonky. Like there's, the balance here is just wild. This is a bio update, a bio patch. I predict bio empires reigning supreme in PVP because of the crazy bonuses we'll be able to stack. Just going to go through each of these just so people can see them and they haven't they're stargazers you get additional expansion node experience gain basically it's all about your nodes getting a bit more experience and nodes are these immortal things so there we are subsumed will idyllic bloom etc right let's go uh you want let's look at machines quickly somebody said machine constructo bot see it's all nodes you all get node benefits uh, to, to node experience gain they don't actually get better they just they get better faster rather than being more powerful. So, yeah, honestly, F to pay respects in chat to robots and hives. Um, you don't get the renowned leaders. You don't get destiny. You don't get council. You don't get council traits. Um, yeah, ouch. Honestly, in a lot of ways, if you're if you're a guest out or a, or a, I'm going to be releasing a video reviewing this tomorrow. Um, at the I can't release it until the same time as the DLC comes out. So, if you're unsure if you want to purchase this DLC. Possibly wait until my review tomorrow, which will be out at 6 p.m. CEST European time. That's midday on the East Coast in America. Okay. But yeah, if you're machine or hive main, you might not actually want to grab this DLC. Possibly. Um, you might actually be happy enough just with the free update. Possibly. But uh, yeah, you'll have to wait to see my full opinion and review tomorrow. Alrighty, let's go through Human Empire. That's us. God save the Emperor. Yep, yep, yep. Eye for talent. All righty. I'll just double check. We'll save that. Good, good. And away we go. Right. So I'm going to play with, let's see. 
I'm just going to go down to two times, actually, because I think we'll bring the Endgame Crisis in really early. Yeah, we'll bring it in year 75, and we'll have one Fallen Empire. No, no Fallen Empires that we will definitely get the Crisis. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see, Caravaneers. This all looks good otherwise. Agreed, James. F to the hives. I don't have access to the achievements yet, I don't think, because that's Steam specific. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, as well, if you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. One like equals one leader XP, and we want to level up our leaders today. James, thank you very much for gifting memberships, and welcome new members. Gallifrey, Twister, Kunda Quid, Zapdos, 23590, and Jace Contos. Welcome, welcome. Don't forget to join the Discord and get access to your stuff. So, we're in game, okay? First things first, we need to upgrade our leaders. We can already see that because my ruler was Admiral and I have the Distinguished Admiral T Civic, we now have we now have level 2 Eye for Talent because we're at level 3. 20% leader experience gain. We've also got Politician, meaning, oh, this is a good one to grab. All of our counselors gain 10% experience and all our factions get a little bit happier. And logistic understanding is all right. Minus 5% ship upkeep. That's nice to have, but not amazing. Otherwise, the Minister of Defense here, we're going to get to choose our traits. Right. I'm going to go with, let's see. We're already at Cautious Level 2. It's offering me Cautious Level 2. That's a minor bug, I think. We'll grab Fleet Organizer. And we'll grab Fleet Organizer Level 2. So we're already at plus 15% nav cap right out of the gate here. And I've done nothing. Literally nothing. The starting governor of our homeworld is monthly energy credits. That's all right. And homestead and monthly food. Yes, not only can you now get leader traits that buff percentages, there are some traits that buff your some traits that buff your basic resources. So we have basic resource traits buffing four per level or eight at level two. We also have consumer goods and alloys. They can we can get plus three alloys and plus three consumer goods. Let's have a look. It's so, here we go. Also unity. So look here, eight minerals. This one is six unity. That's really good because this basically means it's a free leader in terms of upkeep, at least to the lower levels. Uh, here's, so it's this one. This general here grants six alloys. So I, it's probably going to be worth buying that general just to get the equivalent of two pops worth of alloys right at the start of the game. Having said that, though, this scientist is going to be even, even better because we can level this one up pretty quickly. So the first scientist I'm going to get is this scrapper for plus three alloys. It's, it's insanity. So the RNG factor now is massive in game. If you roll good leaders at the start, you have a much better economic start than anybody else. And if you roll bad leaders, you're just a bit behind. So in other games, I've started here with like 40 unity because I had some unity buffs, 25 alloys, that sort of thing. Instead, I've got 40 food. So one of the earliest things we can do is convert agriculture districts, convert those farmers and get rid of them and turn them into something else. At the moment, it's better, more efficient that I sell the food, but later on, it won't be. All right, so let's just uh, also obviously, we, as you can tell here, we've got nothing. N no leaders here. This looks wrong. I submitted so many bug reports saying my my leaders are missing from each of my uh, from each of my research things. I wasn't trying to troll you, freak. I apologize. It was just it was too funny. Righty ho. Let's grab genome mapping and engineering research speed. That'll all be good to start with. Why do I have no planets? That's awkward. Well, I guess we'll go out and we'll explore the galaxy a little. Because we need to find our guaranteed habitable worlds. Um, ba, ba, ba. Otherwise, let me just fix fix some economic stuff right at the start of the game. So I'm going to buy more consumer goods. I'm going to sell almost all my food. And I'm going to buy some minerals. Alrighty ho. So how are we doing, chat as well? How's everyone going? You may want to change your avatar back to the old position. That's a very good point. Thank you very much for reminding me, chat. I think it was about there. Let me check. Do, do, do. I think it was about there. That seems good enough. Yeah, we'll go there. That's good enough, ladies and gentlemen. Shine, sli uh, science ships? Yes, science ships do do auto exploring. We click this button and we can choose from them. But I, I do want to manually do this one a little bit. Also, leader capacity. So we have a leader cap of six here base, which is hardly any, all right? And every and as you go over leader cap, not only does the upkeep of your leaders go up, but if you go too high, the experience length gain of your leaders goes down as well, which can be very punitive. 
Does survey hover still work where when you choose the survey option and hover over a system? Let's double check. Yeah. I, I could. If I wanted to, but I, but I haven't. Envoys don't count. You see here I've got two available envoys. They're not part of my leader cap. My leader cap is two admirals, one scientist, one governor. Important thing to note here, your ruler counts towards your leader cap. So that's kind of nasty, right? Also, here you can see our council. This is great. We're about to get this one firing off pretty soon. We have edicts. So I'm going to fire them off in a moment. Otherwise, let's uh, let's get going, I suppose. I'm just going to check on my... Ba -ba 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 -ba. Things are in different places now. So policies and edicts keep catching me out. It's in the government tab here. I will go to isolationist to start us off. Let's turn on quarantine. And we will also turn on veneration of saints. I'm pretty sure it'll be worth it. Let's see if we are go up or down. Yeah, we went up. Fantastic. Also, as an imperial... You get a you get someone becomes your heir right at the start of the game. In this case, I've just been given a free governor, which is kind of annoying because I didn't really want an extra governor right now. And his first trait is army build speed and reduced army cost, which no, I, uh, that's kind of crap. But if we go to our leaders, you'll see that he does have this this trait of minus 100% leader upkeep and plus one additional leader trait options, making him really easy to 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 specialize. We do, however, have the cap at minus 90%. So talented and Imperial Air, minus 100%, still is capped at minus 90. Don't, don't worry about that. And it's telling us we have an idle leader because we can't, we can't, we can't govern with it. So this leader at the moment is en monthly energy credits, which is nice, and also slave pop resource output, which is less nice because we have no slaves. Eek. Alrighty, there we go. Alpha Centauri has. A size 14. That will do. That will do, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get a generator district going. Look at our alloy production. So we're starting off the game. If we go to policies, we're starting off in uh, militarist economic policy. If I can get the right leaders, I will not even have to change that. Have they done anything with envoys? No, not specifically. No, this is patch 3.8, not patch 3.18. So, the first thing I'm actually going to grab here um, is I'm actually going to grab Aptitude because we'll get access to the Leadership Conditioning Agenda, which we'll need to do soon. And we'll also get Reduced Leader Upkeep. So, we're spending right now currently 14 Unity on Leaders. So, I grab this and that will go down quite a bit, therefore increasing the amount of Unity we have right at the start of the game. Boom, 43. So we're already at 43 Unity. That means it's five months into the next one. I actually think this first aptitude pick first with higher level leaders like this basically pays for itself. Um, yeah. So then we have this council agenda. That goes up depending on the skill of the leaders we have on the council. And the more leaders, the faster the council agenda ticks up. Can we not notify the type of, modify the type of notifications? Yes. There's this entire screen here. You can do lots and lots of different things. Enabled, auto pause, that kind of stuff. I'm not going to touch that right now because I'm happy as is. Oh, I forgot to build my first uh, colony ship. That was a derp. Too busy talking to you lovely people at home. And actually, I'm going to grab a scientist. And I am going to now recruit. Let me go to the leaders tab. I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to recruit this scrapper scientist. So my alloy production now goes up by three. This is just bonkers. Oh no, I've spent one unity per day to gain three alloys. That's equivalent kind of just plus one pops, basically. Oh, actually not at the moment because, well, if you take into account the fact they don't cost any minerals, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. Right, we've got our new science ship. Thank you for inspiring us. Pop on this fella. You go there. You move to here. But yeah, you see, we're now making plenty of alloys day one. I'll go through statecraft a bit later, ladies and gentlemen. The main thing I'll have to say about it is... Hmm. Hmm.
it's, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's something. It's definitely something. Uh, ba ba ba. Oh, no, 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 not that much. 30's fine, actually. We're good there. Yeah, yeah, all good. Alrighty, standard construction. Yeah, we're just gonna zoom through this stuff. I mean, you could get even higher unity as well, but... But we're just trying to maximize leaders. The unity production right now is just a happy byproduct of what we're doing. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's all quite fun. Do we even have enough crime? Yes, we do have enough crime. I, I'll keep my, my governor doing its crime thing. Let's go a bit faster. Yeah, no, I, my avatar was working yesterday. Today, I would have to close the stream down and reopen OBS to get it to work. And I don't want to end the stream. So unfortunately, you can hear my psychic emanations. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Um, yeah, basically. This fella's taking ages to do these, to survey that system. Come on. Hurry it up. Uh, right, we're going to be... proactive because I want the unity. Uh, the influence, actually. And I don't think anyone's going to try and kill us. I'm fairly confident we're going to not be dead. Right, we'll explore these systems, because there must be another planet somewhere nearby. Please don't Moistopolis. Yeah, so how do we want to name these planets, ladies and gentlemen? I can be bought off, or you can give me some good names. Right, so first things first. Council agenda is ready to go. This will last 10 years. It will give us plus 10% happiness on our, all of our worlds, meaning that we don't have to worry about amenities at the start of the game at all. I'm also going to grab, I'm going to grab Eye for Talent here on my main researcher right now. That's going to give us even more. So currently we're getting 40% additional, 40% additional um, leader experience. And if you're an admiral, 60% additional leader experience. We're really stacking those. Next, I'm going to take Expand the Council. We really want that next council thing. So you can launch these agendas early, but the cost is overwhelmingly prohibitive. Prohibitive. My economy is just booming, honestly. It's it's pretty wild, the, the buffs, the leader buffs you now get uh, in terms of economically. Is this DLC going to be free? No, no, unfortunately, it's not going to be free. Oh, no, don't tell me that we've already found aliens. Seriously? Ugh. I'll bring the fleet up. That's deeply unpleasant, though. Alrighty, uh, another research lab, methinks. My edicts might now actually be starting to cost a bit too much. Let's see if Veneration of Saints is still worth it. No, no, I can turn that off now. Alrighty. Can we name the ruler David Woodpecker? Yeah, I, I don't see why not. Emperor... David Woodpecker. Evelyn or Swordfish. Is that the first planet name? Is it? Alright, well, we'll have... This can be Evelyn. Sorry about that, James. Uh, Evelyn is uh, it's a good name. Don't worry about it. A great day for the human empire. We've popped down on a new planet. Ooh, 50 minor artifacts. That's pretty nice. Okay, we'll grab Sirius next, and then we'll go over there after that, I suppose. 
I think we're going to have some early wars today. I'm, I'm fairly confident. I'm feeling it in my bones. Let's see. If we're going to have early wars, I'm going to grab strike craft, I think. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, and otherwise, oh, hydroponic farms, of course. Why go to war when you can vassalize? Well, I want to have more planets so we can get more leaders on them. Harvest parts we can. Ooh, yeah, I'll take the alloys. Thank you. You're going to be very shocked at my first pick. Can anyone guess what my first ascension perk pick is going to be? I think you might be quite surprised at what I'm going to pick first. There's something now that I think is going to be very, very useful very early on in the game. Because we're at leader cap right now. Leader capacity is... That's it. That's it. Why do you support this channel, James? Because you enjoy pain. Oh, come off it. They've taken that system already. Right. It's time to gear up, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to do some early Corvette rush nonsense. Damn you, Grand Admiral nonsense. You may be confused by this ship design. Right, so. Flak Battery has four and a half armor dam uh, four and a half damage, which is really high. Average. Lasers cut through armor and get additional hull damage. This should deal with shields a bit. You've got armor pen, so some of it will fall on armor behind it and do very poorly. But as a basic design, this is now very powerful. It emerges uh, as one of the dominant designs in the meta. It's one I didn't actually test. I didn't even consider it uh, when I was doing my recent testing. So that's why it's not in my video, unfortunately. Oh, uh, well, I, uh, well, I guess this planet needs to have a name as well. I also want more unity, but I can wait. I can wait on the unity thing. Yeah, let's upgrade the star ports. Am I doing both? Yes. Okay, good. So if I grab Autocathon, I'm going to get more Edict Fund, Nav Cap, and Pop Amenities Usage Reduction. Oh, I don't really need it yet, though. Not here, anyway. Okay, we've got a leader level up. I'm going to go with Capitalist, but neither of these choices right now are actually great for me. I Yeah, I'd prefer something better. So plus one leader choices is also good to have early on. Why, how do I get plus one leader choices? Let me find it. It's somewhere here. Isn't it? Uh, hmm. I thought it was in aptitude. Oh, I take it back. No, I can't get it from aptitude. Did they kill up? A... No, they just made me go AFK. Okay, uh, not AFK, but um, <laughs> AFK, no. They made it retreat. That's fine. That's fine. We can deal with that. Luckily, our leader didn't die. Oh my goodness me. So if that leader would have died, I would have been very sad. That was the plus three alloy leader that we'd, we'd snatched up earlier. Our leaders reset every few years. We've just recently had a reset, so it is a good idea to take a look through and see what we've got at our disposal. So... This could be quite a nice scientist to have on the council. We've also got a retired fleet officer here. That's really good. Minus 10% ship build cost. Oofed. Do you still need a scientist on every science ship? Yes, you do. And that actually becomes a big problem in the mid to late game. You gain when you only got, let's say you've got 10 or 12 leader capacity and you've got two or three admirals, two or three governors, and then you've only got three or four scientists plus your ruler. That means that you've only got three scientists for everything. One to do ex excavation, one to do all the anomalies, one to assist research somewhere, and one to do a bit of surveying. And then if you go to war and you want to do debris stuff, well, unfortunately, you kind of can't. It's, yeah, it's just no. Let's sell, uh, let's, no, we won't sell my food. Let's get a stockpile, because I can see our food going a bit negative eventually. Excellent, we're getting somewhere. 
You can go by the leader limit, but it does cost you extra. It does. So, the it also, though, the main issue is it reduces your leader upkeep. And that, uh, not leader upkeep, reduces your leader um, experience. And that is multiplicative. So, even if you've got, like, plus 200% upkeep. Oh, it's machines. Why? Right, all right. We might even have a determined exterminator next to us. If I have to restart because we're dead, I'm going to feel like a real fool. All right, let's, um... Let's just get on with it, I suppose. Yeah, I'm going to pop this one on. So now we're over our leader cap. 16% more unity upkeep from all of our leaders. And if I show you, let's go to our leaders. That that one is... That one's not multiplicative, but uh, it's the experience gain one. And I'm not high enough to get the experience gain problems yet, so there's there's something there, I suppose. Hydroponics farms, good. Um, I think I might be able to support the alloys. Yeah, why not? I think we'll need it. And you will go and assist research on the capital. So you looked up in this corner. So you're locked. I'm yeah. I'm locked up in here. I'm in this little pocket, one way in, one way out. And they've already they claimed Nexus. They're colonizing it. Yeah, we're gonna have a pretty fast war base start right now. I'm I'm seeing, ladies and gentlemen, which is good. War is good for the soul, especially for the greater human empire, which will form. All right, let's upgrade those ships. You can be a hydroponics bay. Where did I put uh, Evelyn's on? It's on Evelyn. Okay, Evelyn. So already here, we're getting a reduction in our alloy cost for our ships. That's really pleasant. Okay, so first off, I'm here. Okay, we're at year seven. We've finished our first uh, perk, for, uh, per first tradition tree. So I'm going to grab Transcendent Learning. Plus two capacity, plus 50% leader experience gain. So this is already going to help me with the amount of leaders I have. And all of my leaders now. So what have I got? 50, 100, 120%, sorry, 110% gain to admirals. And 90% gain to everybody else. That's a lot of extra buffs. We're going to be pushing those leaders up as fast as we can. Hello, Arthur, Arthes. I'm glad you love the content. Quick question. Did they change clone army or did the admirals still get the trait? You still get the trait. Does it get plus two capacity, not top, plus two leader level? Oh, now it gives plus two capacity, not plus two leader level. What was that reference to? Gallifrey, I'm not entirely sure what you're talking about. Goodness gracious me, there are 900 people, 923 people watching my stream for the GTLC here. That's that's awesome. Um, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying, one like equals one leader XP, and we want our leaders to go up in XP. So, so, so smash that like button. We lost all of our miners. That's an issue. Right, let's... Let's do that. Meanwhile, you can become an industrial world. Excellent. Is authoritarian, is, is authoritarian still strong despite minus one leader... Uh, Paul, I actually think that a fanatic authoritarian now is really bad because of that, because of the RNG needs. Okay, there. Okay. We share the same divine heritage. Let's tell them that. Let's see how big they are. All right, they're pretty small. We're gonna try and do some spy network stuff just to get an idea of their fleet size. We're making fifty alloys here. That's helpful. We're also making 100 uh, science. That's okay. Yeah, these resources are manageable. And we're going to need this in order to get where we're going. What I'm really waiting for is level 4 leaders. Okay, so is this our... The head of research has gone up. I'm actually going to grab Spark of Genius. So Spark of Genius would look like it's gone down. It used to be plus 10%. It's now plus 3. But 
That now applies to, of course, every single technology gets the plus 3%, so actually it's plus 9. So really, Spark of Genius is pretty much the same as it ever was, and, and very good. I've got the relics. I could sell relics as well, but I don't want to. I'll grab that system. I've got a machine world capital. This is not helpful. I can vassalize them, though. They've got no ships, basically. Oh, wow. Okay, we're going to have to do a bit of a blitz. We're going to do a little bit of a blitzkrieg here. And we'll just take them. Oh, so as soon as you do your first contact, you get Xeno Linguistics. This is excellent. This gives you the Interstellar Recruitment Office, plus one external leader pool size. What are external leaders? I forgot to show Xenophile and Xenophobe. So, Xenophobe has been nerfed. You now get minus one and minus two external leader pool, respectively, depending on... Uh, Depending on what level of, um, depending on what level of xenophobia you're at, so if you're quite high on the xenophobic axis, you get more more problems. Uh, did we also complete? Yes, we did. So actually, I should go to Earth right now, and I should build energy grid. Let me go to my policies and edicts. Um, ooh. I could spend it. I don't think I want to. I won't spend it yet. We might need to spend some stuff in a moment. Can bio empires recruit robot leaders if they meet a robot? No. I don't think so. But external leader pool, yeah, it's interesting. So actually, I'm going to put up a little poll up. War! Yes, no, or now. So also, uh, Jan Rudsky says, Hey Montu, how exactly do planetary versus sector governors work? So, here we have a planetary governor, Shan Luo, who's granting her bonuses on the planet. On Earth, which you can see from this little flag, it is the sector capital. So Ting Zheng here is providing the bonus here from skill level, plus 4% resources from jobs, minus 4% empire size from pops, and minus 6 crime on every planet in in the area but not the bonuses i mean her bonuses don't help anyway but but you can see what i'm saying Alrighty, blue laser that's going to be useful prepare the fleet wait 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 no no wait wait, wait. i should i shouldn't i shouldn't jump the gun here how close are we oh we're making currently let's see how many we're making per month the one thing that upsets me is it doesn't tell you how much your experience gain is we're making 10 per month. So that means we'll be at level 4. They yeah, are too late. We need we need those ships now. Oh, why am I doing this? I should show off the new fleet manager. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, Vod Goose, to priest level. 999 viewers, prepare the army. I've never hit 1,000 live stream viewers before, actually. So that's that would be a massive first if we hit 1K today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness me. Why all these Chinese names of the leaders? Because we were a multicultural society and they're good at science, allegedly. I mean, we've got Latin names here and Gary Saxton. As British as they come for Gary, I suppose. <laughs> Hong Hu and Long Hu. I wonder if they're related. The other one. Oh, this is the other one. Oh my goodness me. So, shipwright is another trait that you can get in your leaders, which gives you reduced build cost. You can get leaders that have retired fleet officer and shipwright together, meaning that on that star base, you can end up with like minus 30 or minus 40% ship build cost just on that. Oh, we hit 1,000. Ladies and gentlemen, we're at 1K, baby. We've never been at four figures. Um, we're, here is history. We currently have just under 1% possibly of the subscriber count watching this live stream right now, which is very strong, ladies and gentlemen. That's... That's that's something else. Thank you very much for sticking with me as well. All right, so. Let me see. Thank you very much. Congrats. Yeah, very much. Congratulations. This is wild. Um, wow. Okay. Anyway, need to focus on the game and tell you guys stuff. 1,000 is great, but focus must be maintained, ladies and gentlemen. What was I talking about? I was talking about something. There was a thing that I was saying, and now I don't remember what the devil it was.
Face reveal. You dislike the video? No. Fleet manager, thank you. So, fleet manager and ship manager are now the same thing. But luckily we have this cool thing. Well, let's upgrade first. And then... We can just use it. I mean, it, this bit works the same, but look how beautiful it is. Creating new fleets goes here. We get many, many more of them. Ship designer is, is locked into this as well. It's all pretty nice. Now we're going to send out the call for renowned leaders. That's good. I'm going to grab robots because we need the robots. Oh, yes. Retired fleet officer. Thank you very much. So actually what I need to do now is... Undo and then, yeah, so we've got now 15% reduction on these, which is just great. It's just really good. Really, I should have built them all at the same place here, but, 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 you know, you can't be, you can't do all the things right. Now, next up, I'm going to take, I'm going to take Supremacy, I think. Let's just check out. I don't, I mean, I, I would go for this if we really needed it, but we don't. This is only really grant, granting us plus one XP or plus half an XP, I think. At this point, so that for our for our leaders on the council, so that's helpful. Um, let's take a look at uh, statecraft. So statecraft gives you extra edict fund, which is all right. Departmental efficiency, which is okay. Then when you finish it, you get plus one effective counselor skill, really good, and plus one leader capacity, which is which is nice as well. You also get the technology galactic administration. So when you complete this early, you get an extra civic because you simply gain that technology. Okay. I think that's a little balked. Basically, Statecraft is only good if you complete it really early on and around, you know, finish it off around year 20 or something, and then you can unlock your third, you can unlock your third Civic, no questions asked. You can even do it before you've unlocked the technologies below that. So yeah, pretty wild, pretty darn wild. What do you think, Monty, what do I think of the current Stellaris trend of DLC not supporting Gestalts, i.e. this DLC and the last two only having one origin usable for hives? Um, yeah, I think that there probably does need to be some more support for Gestalt Empire, so hives and machines. We haven't had that much of it. That probably is more for the custodians to look at. And I think there's some design philosophy stuff going on here. So I remember taught reading previously. I mean, and unfortunately, I've not had the chance to speak to the game director, unlike other members of the community I've not been offered an interview recently, but um, recently, or not recently, the game director has previously said, or it might have been a previous game director, I think, that they don't like to add in DLC, which require another DLC for you to access. So with something like, uh, with something like Guest Out Empires, you don't, you don't get access to any Guest Out stuff unless you have Utopia, and for Machine, you need Synthetic Dawn. So if they make a new DLC just for Guest Out, it's actually entirely locked behind another DLC, unless they give you access to Guest Out through the new DLC, in which case they're reducing the selling power of their previous DLC. So I can understand somewhat why they're a bit hesitant to do that, but also I think they just need to make up their mind whether or not they want to support Guest Outs fully like Bios or not, because they're really missing out on quite a bit of love. David Woodmansey, it's appreciation, James. You're helping our lizard overlord. I don't know what what I missed there. Does the does they, do they have special leader for fanatic ethic? No, no, I don't think so. Um, right, statecraft's not great, but I think I might just take it to show it off to you guys. I mean, I'd rather take supremacy. Oh, getting 300 experience whenever you launch an agenda is not enough. Council a gain of 10% is basically a worse version of this. Council agenda speed of 10% is nice, but not that much additional bonus. If this was like 25, amazing. Inspiring agendas. These two agendas I think are okay, but I can't actually remember if they're any good. Council agenda duration is basically, this is plus two years in essence. So, yeah. Time for another quick poll. Yeah, let's poll whether we go down. It looks like we're going to go to war in a minute. We're going to poll whether or not we go down uh, statecraft or supremacy okay remember statecraft at the end will grant us an entirely an entire extra civic super early which is good but 
the other bonuses are not that great. Supremacy, on the other hand, is just all around amazing. And also, this now gives us, let's see, this gives us plus 20% Admiral experience gain, which is probably is better, basically, than this, because we get more Admiral experience gain. We get reduced ship upkeep, we get reduced ship build cost, more damage, more nav cap, war doctrines, yada, 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 yada. Right, I'm going to put the poll up. Um, I'm going to briefly... I need to briefly step away for just a moment, so you are going to have to deal without me for just two seconds, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Just two moments. Sorry about that. I am back. There we are. Let's see what how we're doing. Are we did we drop below a thousand viewers because I left? No, we didn't. Well, that's pretty cool. Penfish, swordfish, sword. Why are we why is swordfish in the chat again? Oh no. Alrighty, let's see. Well, supremacy is winning with 69%. We've got a thousand people here and only 300 votes. So if you want to choose the next the next tradition, please vote, ladies and gentlemen. Please vote in the poll. We require your assistance. So we've got some negatives here. Minus 5% pop growth speed, that's terrible. This one is only a problem if you're on the council. So actually, this one's not that big a deal. Um, what's David Woodpecker popped up to say? David Woodpecker has now set a trend. So just like I said in the previous dev diary, we now get special... Um, we get special events that tie into our leaders, even if they're not the special special leader types, the renowned or or uh, the paragons. I can't remember what the top, uh, legendary. But we do get regular ones with our leaders, which is pretty cool. So five years of plus ten plus, plus ten monthly unity, and fifteen percent amenities from jobs, just because we get it. I mean, that's that's great. That's very excellent. going to rebalance our economy momentarily. Our Emperor, it's a fancy guy. Do you think they'll ever give us three starting civics rather than just two? No, I don't think so. Big hats are all the rage this year. Yeah, didn't you know? He doesn't... He, he, where is the Emperor? He's not even wearing a hat. He's got a nice beard and interesting hairstyle, but yes, no hats. Okay, there's blue laser, which is kind of what I was waiting for. So now I'm just going to upgrade the fleet. Uh, let me check that we've actually got the blue laser put on our ships. If we could have the blue laser put on our ships, that would be amazing. Oh, it, would, it already is. Great. So, let's upgrade that. It's going to give us some extra bonuses. So, cautious now. More hull points and weapons range. Wow. And then also fleet organizers. So this guy is going to buff up and hopefully... Oh, sorry, this girl, April Van Hoof, will get to level 4, granting us even more power. So I'm going to vassalize them. Let me just check what our... I want to check what our vassalization policy is. Oppressive. Yes. Good. Uh, ooh. Maybe I want to go to balance. But our factions... What do our factions want? They want aggressive diplomacy. Ruler of their ethic. Pretty cool. Represented on the council. Yeah, so at the moment... Our factions love us, and we're authoritarian. They are overwhelmingly happy with us. If only we can get this up to 100%, then, then we'd be doing even better. But yeah, we're, we're, we're doing good. Right, I'm going to end the poll here. We're taking supremacy. And then we will go to war, because that's what the previous poll said. Oh. Oh, what I can do here, though, actually... 
I want to quickly scout their things before I uh, scout their systems a little before I before I move on because I want to probably claim a bunch of their stuff. Oh yeah, I'll go with that one. That one. That one. That was good. Yeah. All right. Oh my God. Is that how cheap it is now? 84. So our, even though we're upgrading our ships, they're getting cheaper and cheaper. Oh my goodness me. Wait. Oh, master. Yeah, it's the one. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. It just allows you to take the slot from technology faster. Sorry, what does? I didn't see that. I've missed a comment. Um, I don't know what that means. But yes, it probably does that, what you're talking about. Uh, more mining, I believe. set those up. Alrighty. Get rid of this and then I will probably have to add another mining Kajiga down. Ooh. Let's get extra hull points. Extra energy. Right. And I'm also probably going to declare them a rival in a moment. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I can get as much information as I can from them. We do have coordination system. We're total. We can get to 35. Once I get to 30... I should be able to see most of their stuff, I think. So I'm thinking we claim these border systems. We are saving up influence for a reason here. And our power projection now is really good. We're almost at max power projection. Let's... We can push that even further, I suppose. Um, but let's, let's give that a moment. Is that another world? Right, it's a good thing we're about to push the aggressive here. Because these fellas are almost certainly about to overwhelm us. Here we are at year 13 with 3k a fleet, which is pretty nice. What's the tube super chat from Vod Goose? Oh, does taking statecraft on our fear of the dark to have six civics? Or did they remove the civic from the research pool? No, so statecraft doesn't give you an extra civic. It doesn't actually give you an extra civic. What it does is it gives you the technology to get the third civic. It's the, the, civic, the technology that gives you three civics. Notifications on a level of infiltration would be nice as well. Absolutely. I'll take the unity. What kind of world are these? Ocean? Excellent. Excellent. Most excellent. All right, there's nothing there. So I'll also be grabbing this one, 404. That'll go down in a second when I... Choose something else one moment. Right. If I can just grab these four, we'll be good. We can stop their expansion. Or limit it effectively. We don't want to stop it entirely, but we do want it to, it to be somewhat limited. Come on, hurry up, little fella. The next question we have to ask ourselves is, do we even care about building armies? Answer, possibly not. Okay, here we go. I want Montu's avatar to have a hat or a brain slug. I mean, that, that could be possible. Right, let's... Harm relations. Declare rivalry. Oh, are they pathetic to us? Ugh, so I can't do that. Oh, we're too powerful. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, uh, let's go a Vaseline. Yep, you ran away, but now we're just gonna zoom straight in here. I am gonna build some armies. That way I can show off the brand new army builder. There it is. And it splits them out between different things. It's great. He knows he'll get it fixed next time. Yeah, no, I... It's not, uh, my mouth isn't moving, there's an issue. It, I, I would have to reload, um, uh, what's it called? I'd have to reload OBS to make it move today. And if I did that, the stream would end entirely. So, yeah. Ish. Go on, die station. Give my leader experience as well. 
Give me the experience. Let's go in and kill their six ships. Is that it? Oh, they've been focusing too much on colonization. They've spent all their alloys on expansion. A rookie error, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we'll engage the enemy here. Absolutely annihilated. We didn't even slow down. We just went straight for the station. Hilarious. Lasers, you can see here, because of the amount of hull and armor, lasers early game are just so OP at the moment. It's, it's pretty ridiculous. We'll take exotic refineries. We could even recruit... We could even recruit a leader. Oh, scrap a one. I mean, at this point, we're making plenty of alloys. The three extra alloys right now is, is kind of neither here nor there. I think what I'll do... Hmm, which ones do I want? Ooh. So, aggressive gives you extra fire rate. Engineer gives you a small amount of regen. That's the sort of thing we're looking at. Um, hmm. Uh, tricks to two. I see, I see, I see. Don't really care about the... Minus one. Ooh, minus one encryption as a counselor. Gullible. You fool. I'd really prefer a leader that's actually better. So I might just wait till we get one that has an actual applicable council trait, you know? Did our, uh, did our science ship come back? Yes, it did. Great. We're going to grab some tech. Armor, lasers, sorry, red laser, bl oh, blue laser, blue laser, but we have blue laser. You're drunk, Stellaris, go home. We'll jump in there with that one. I guess four years till we get a refresh. Oh. I could go with the energy credit guy. Yeah, all right, we'll go with the energy credit guy. I'm just unhappy about the leader choices there. all these folks together there we are let's continue right so what are we agreeing on since you can't use the robot pops anyway can you show off, off taking plants with bombardment yeah i suppose i can't use them but i can purge them Five ninety for a simple star base what on earth huh oh they just upgraded it i see Yeah, I'm just going to take them out in space and then I'll I'll deal with that. Let's grab those systems. Ooh. That could be a problem. Oh, I don't think so. They've only got five. They can't repair anywhere. Oh, Lord. Poor things. 225, no way. Right. Leader with an available trait. Governor. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Ooh, fertility preacher. I don't want the food from jobs, though. I'm going to take it, but there's, honestly, I, it's, it's not really very useful to me at this present moment. I've got an unused governor? No. No, wait. I do have an unused governor. Okay, well, let's... I've, oh no no sorry that's no it's not unused that's uh governor we already we that's a governor we could recruit it gets confusing sometimes a good way around that is to play multiplayer since only the host needs dlc yes that's true if you that, that's a very good point you can yes you can also recruit a leader through the choosing screen so i can look at my leaders and i actually identically have this close so the crown prince is going to go there that way they can actually do some leveling up
Let's grab. You can go back home. Thank you. Are they really upgrading the outpost just as I. Oh no, not. not I thought they were. I was going to complain about outpost nonsense. Right, you can come back and bombard this place, because it doesn't really matter if they all die. Let's show off what happens when we conquer a planet without actually fighting. The other fleet can go and grab some stuff. Am I going to be sharing any exploits during the stream? Cough, pop, stealing, bombardment, cough. No. I'm actually not because I don't know if it's going to get patched. There are a number of new exploits in this current patch. I will be releasing videos on them if it becomes applicable. Um, yes. Let's just put it that way. Let me just... Let me just share, ladies and gentlemen, with you something I managed to do just, just today, actually. Uh, let me just grab... I'll grab the image. Just a moment. Where is it? Let me just grab, uh, copy image, uh, save image. Do, do, do. Yes, this. So this is going to be something that might prepare to have your little, prepare to have everyone's little minds blown, as my mind was blown when I saw this. All right, here we go. Where's it gone? I'm just going to pop this. In the right place, just so you can get an example of how nonsense it is. You see that on the top of the screen, ladies and gentlemen. Do you see that? Does that seem reasonable? I would argue, no, it does not seem reasonable. Zero empire size. I had a rather large empire when my empire size was zero. Um, yes, that's useful, isn't it? And honestly, it wasn't as expensive as I was expecting. It just took quite a few years to get it done. But, you know, in the late game, you've got plenty of years to get it done. So I'll just get rid of that again. But there's there's something. Hey. Uh, <laughs> this game is perfectly balanced with absolutely no exploits. Right, we just upgraded our council. So now I'm going to grab... As I'm going to grab the Grand Storyteller... This can be anybody. Let's see, what have we got? Oh, nothing. Let's take a look if any of our leaders would be good to put on the council. Unfortunately, none of our leaders have actually got things that would be useful to us right now. So I guess we're just going to put the fertility preacher on. For now. But we will fix that a bit later on when we get somebody with use. Instead, though, I'm going to go for this one. Okay, so leadership conditioning... If you're trying to chase leader levels, holy moly moly, um, wow. You get plus 10% leader experience gain when it's going and plus 10% when it's fired. Fine. That's not the issue. The issue here is leaders get an extra skill level with their level 1 to 4. So that's level up all of your low level leaders. And at, and if you're a higher level than level 4, you get 2,000 experience. 2,000 experience is pretty darn nice. So we're going to go with leadership conditioning. Uh, I have a, a trait for my crown prince. What can I grab? I guess I'm just going to go with architectural interest, actually. Yeah, nothing great there. Mm, it's a shame. Take the pop growth speed. So, over here, we're bombarding a planet. There's no armies left. Wait, why haven't they surrendered? Oh! They're not surrendering because they would be purged. Of course. Apologies. So ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't work if they're going to be purged. If they're going to be purged, they won't surrender because there's no point. Because they would just die. So surrender bad. Oh, the Minister of Defense is leveled up. Great. So now we're at veteran ranks. So how do the veteran ranks work? Okay, veteran levels. From left to right, we have we get you get two that affect the leader in whatever job they're doing. And then the third one, as you can see, it always has the council image on it, the government image. This it means that it affects 
and all the special bonuses afterwards will affect them as a counselor. Generally, the counselor ones are usually best because they have an empire-wide effect. So now we have minus 5% ship build cost empire-wide because we got to level 4. Oh, goodness me. Do you have more than three veteran trait choices? Yes. After this, there are a lot of veteran traits. Quite a lot of veteran traits. Yeah, oof. You grab those worlds. I'm just going to go over and grab that one. Right, so they're now going to be locked in here. Uh, and we're going to be able to... <laughs> yeah, we're going to be able to just milk them for whatever they've got. Science, I don't know, whatever it is they're, they're producing, I suppose. Probably we'll get some energy and that sort of thing from them. It's nice to have a little vassal. An alien empire. Better check that out. We don't actually want to kill many pops, so I'm going to try to not do that. I'll definitely grab all the debris I can. Right, I'm also going to get another science ship at this point. Any moment now, we're going to get a refresh on our scientist pool, and we'll hopefully get some good ones in one and a half years at 2020. Okay. I can show you dystopian society living standard. I'm not going to do it right this moment, but I will show it off eventually. Patience, ladies and gentlemen, patience. So because your emperor is an admiral and he can only get the, the council traits, he's going to become a strategist. This fellow now is granting us another 5% ship build cost. So let's go back to Alpha Centauri. I'm already at year 18 here at 35% ship build cost reduction. 35. Wow. This is the lead, the, the, the learning campaign edict. Oh, edict. Sorry, edict. Um, education campaigns, 25 energy. I mean, I can afford it. So actually, yes, it probably is worth it. We'll do it. Normally, if the cost can be prohibitive, so I might not, but right now I think it's probably a good idea. Disruptors or lasers? Oh, goodness. I actually kind of want the lasers. I'm going to go for a laser build today, ladies and gentlemen. That's going to be what the fun is. 1,067 people watching live. We've never had these numbers. This is bonkers. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, if you're enjoying the video, one like equals one leader XP. And we need as much XP as possible to get our leaders up. We've got level four leaders on the council, level three, which means we're getting 6% research, uh, 20 edict fund, also 8% reduced ship upkeep. It's pretty nice. There we are. We won the war. Huzzah. Oh, they stole one more little system. Those buggers. Can I close my borders to them? No. That's a shame. But if I check my... Let's go to uh, blah, 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 contacts down the bottom now. They should be expansion prohibited. Right, yeah. So they're going to be stuck for a little while like that. Making it a non-issue for me to just ignore them. Um, I'm going to get... I think I'm going to go for an aid agency for the extra... Unity, ironically, yeah. I'm going to go with hydroponics. And then out here, let's put an interstellar recruitment office down. So this gives us plus one leader to external leader pool size and plus 10% leader experience gain and increases the chance that renowned leaders will contact us. So that's all really useful. These planets, unfortunately, some humans decided to jump on some of them. Wrong ones. Um, let's send a human here. We're probably getting a lot of alloys out of this. How much are we getting? Uh, just going to set the rights here to... Oh, I can only do displacement. 
Why? How dare you? My purging must be different. I need to be xenophobe. Gosh darn it, I can't get any alloys out of these things. Useless. Useless, I tell you. Have we had 278 days? Right, I'll uh, bring the science ship up ready to go. I think we might... No, I'll keep I'll keep this leader here doing doing his thing, uh, doing the uh, the buff to the to the to the home world. Uh, what can I build that doesn't require anything? I guess we could get some trade. Eh. I'm actually going to leave these planets alone for now. Just ignore them completely. I can't use any sector editor stuff, but yeah. Have you tried out the science ship automation yet? Yes. Yes, I've done a bit of that. But right now I'm just picking up the debris. Because there's a whole load of good debris to grab. Right, the researcher is going to get the researcher trait, giving a 7% research speed across the board. Buffing your leaders like this is really, really useful. Um, let's go back to our science. What are we now getting? We're now at 23% across the board flat bonuses. That's nice. That's very nice. Yeah, they clearly spent all their money on the wrong things here. This is a bit silly. <laughs> but we won't do that, will we, ladies and gentlemen? We'll spend our money on the right things. Tropical world? Yeah, okay. And this is another tropical world. Oh my goodness, excellent. Super excellent. Gain 5,000 experience and remove all negative traits. Don't mind if I do. Oh, it's Andrea. Oh, I thought it was the emperor. Let's see who Andrea is. Andrea Giordano. Oh, the head of research. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Another pick. So now we can pick a focus. We've only got two choices here. It's not very many, but I'm actually going to go with a physics focus, I think. And then we've got another one. We just leveled up twice. All right, so could get maniacal. That's pretty good. Or I could double down on the physics focus for even more physics-related nonsense. Have attacked before year 30. Cheezer. Yeah, well, I mean, they spawn within like two jumps of my home world. What else was I going to do? I, didn't, I wasn't going to bother building up my economy. I saw an economy next to me I could grab. I think we're going to go... That's only 10%, whereas this is 6% across the board. I'm going to grab Maniacal. So this fella is, like, just good. Just really good, you know? Just a really solid, useful leader. Um, if we go to our research now, 33%, 43% on the physics. It's just a little bit, little bit balmy. A little bit balmy. And we've got another governor to level up. Okay, let's give you... Ooh, Evelyn probably doesn't have much trade value, but we can increase the trade value a bit, I suppose. It's not the end of the world. And new leaders, new leaders. Okay. I think I'll go with this one. Oh no, we're over our leader cap. Whatever will I do? So now... We are one. So the more leader cap you have, going over becomes less important. We're at 12% extra gain, but we also get 12% less experience. Now, that's something I mentioned. So if we look, that's a multiplicative reduction. So after all of our bonuses, and look, look how many bonuses we have here. Crikey. 25 and 10 and 50 and 20 and 10 and 6 and 10 and 20. Oh, my Lord. Crikey. We've already got a level 6 leader, though, at year 20. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. 
Actually, we need the exp. So this is the time I need the exploration. Nazo's Dementor has arrived. This is a scientist leader, explorer. So this one's good to put on on something. But they have, at this point of the game, getting plus 20 unity from one leader is rather good. They're bad at research, assist research. Explorer means... So explorer is another veteran trait. Sorry, Demeter. I did I say Dementor? I meant Demeter. I apologize. Um... The veteran trait here means you'll get 50% extra leader experience, good, and then your science ship will get plus 10% anomaly research speed, and every survey that is completed just gives you five unity. Yeah, I'm going to enlist this guy and pop him on a ship. We'll go to 10. That's bad. We're now getting 25% less XP, but basically I'm going to spend my unity on buffing that, is I think the plan here. Build another science ship. This all looks all right, though. We're all looking kind of okay. I really had to push quite hard to push my... Um, I forget what it's called. Push my Kajigger up at the start. This is a bit problematic, but we're, we're balanced, so it's all fine. It's all fine. No problems. <laughs> oh, God. Um, let's see. Okay, plus one leader cap from colonial centralization. Definitely. Definitely. I'm going to turn off education campaign as well. It's just costing us slightly too much energy right now. We've got two techs from the war. Excellent. Oh no, another hostile alien. I guess we'll just have to kill them. Oh my lord. Oh, it's Tomb Worlds. I suppose that could be better. I'm actually going to grab the extra leader cap right now because I I, I want to... Inc We're trying to get our leaders up. That's the point of the run. So realistically, you should finish Supremacy. It's good. Don't do what I just did, but I wanted the leader cap. Shoot me, somebody. It is the Catlings, yes. That new leader should be the storyteller on the council. Um, So why would I say no to that? Level four, being on the council gives basically no bonuses here. He's much better on a ship. And at the moment on the council here we're getting 3% extra pop growth speed, whereas if this fella's on the council we get one extra percent, two extra percent uh, leader gain. It's, I don't think it's actually worth it. I'd rather the pop growth speed across the empire. Oh, Halito. That's nice. Extra Edict Fund, good. Where are we at now on Edict Fund? 36. That's something. Just do a bit of jiggery pokery as well. Yeah, it all looks good otherwise. So David says, back from the meeting of the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Clerks and Farmers. I hope I didn't miss much. Um, we've, we've won a war. We've been very successful in winning a war. In 15 months, we're going to change the terms of the agreement to something. Let's see what we can change it to. I mean, our overwhelming power means we can do anything to them. Uh, I'm going to prohibit integration because actually I don't want to integrate this little fella. I'm going to not involve them in any of my wars, but involve be involved in their defensive wars. This is going to cost a lot, isn't it? A lot of you, a lot of, um, it's going to cost a lot. Right, so we can put that up. Are they making a lot of the, oh, making a lot of alloys as well. Ooh, that could be nice too. I'd rather the science possibly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll just bleed them dry. 89. So if I take all their science and give them nothing, they give me 89, right? Let's go to Scholarium. What would it look like then? 
Oh, they'd love this. Oh, I think we'll turn them into a Scalarium. Yeah, in a moment. That's going to be excellent. How, am I, how have I got this much alloy income? I've actually gone down a lot in my alloy income. I was at 50 early on when I started the first war. So, yes. Now we don't need to increase the spy network. Give up on it. We'll upgrade some stuff. Right, I've done this. We're going to get... Why have people moved here? That's not the point. Yes, leave. Leave immediately. This is for pop growth only, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you can have one of those. You can have one of those. You can have one of those. This gives food and agriculture, whatever. Okay. Alrighty, so we got more upgrades. Oh, we could go mining rush. And maybe move that guy on the councillor soon, but not right now. It's not worth it to do it right this second. Go here and then there, please. Excellent. We should build another construction ship. At this point, we'll, we'll almost have the minerals soon to just turn on construction ship automation, I feel. Did I uh, put... Uh, we have eliminated farmers' empire. Aha! We're lacking a hydroponics bay. There's the issue. Oh, detection arrays. What are you talking about? All right, let's see. Still looks good. How are we doing, chat? Don't lead a... Overhauls make Javorian Pox actually useful. Does councillors get passive experience being in the council? Yes. So councillors do get experience passively for being in the council. Uh, I think about the same as your, your leader gets. So putting them on the council is a way to level up leaders. Another hive mind? Really? Oh... I guess we could just make them give us money and solve our economic problems. Like, that that would be a solution. Overwrite fleet template. It's a brilliant new button. I suggest you all use it where you can. No, wrong one. Capacity subsidies. There we are. We're going to turn on capacity subsidies and just bite the unity cost. Because I need it. Excellent. Right, I can stop selling as many alloys. Oh, maybe I can't. Let's continue. Do, do, do. Ship upkeep should help us. I mean, given we know they're pretty weak compared to us, it might be worth just just charging at them again. I'll, so the one issue I think we have with, with princes and stuff, so our ruler here has only got council traits. But because our crown prince starts off not as not, not like that, we can't get as good a ruler. So really what we want to do is keep David Woodpecker alive for all of space and time. Literally all of space and time. I need another planet name over here as well. So many worlds. So little time. Oof. Painful negatives there. Okay, right. We got Grand Storyteller is upgraded now. So we could make them a visionary. Pop-up keep minus 5% trade value plus 5%. Or we can make them industrialist. Plus 5% resources from jobs on the planet. Now, where is Ting Zen? Nope. Nope. On the capital. Okay. And then Pioneer gives you pop growth speed and more experience gain. I'm going to go with Industrialist 
while they're on the capital. I don't actually want empire-wide reduction in pop-up keep, I don't think. But I do want extra resources from jobs right here on the capital. Did I ever put that folk... I never put that guy on a science ship, did I? Go forth into the universe, my good chum. You can go excavate that. And you can go auto-exploring. Meanwhile, I'm going to build more. I'm going to build more. Just some more Corvettes. I've got plenty of alloys sat around, so I might as well use them. Should also throw down another luxury district over here. Ooh! So our researcher got minus 10% council agenda speed. That's nasty. Oh, Lord. All right. All right. Nothing you can do about that. Absolutely nothing you can do about that. So what's that new icon in the fleets where it, where it's a ship and star base? Okay, let's have a look. Which icon? The, the Which icon? This one? Take point. Uh, maybe? You can set things to take point, which is good. Oh, more alloys. Don't mind if I do. That went to plus six alloys now, and I did literally nothing for that. It was just like a thank you. Yes, I would like the alloys. Thank you for offering. And now let's build some more destroyers, because destroyers, again... Oh, that's the wrong place here. So these destroyers are going to be even cheaper. Minus 10, 20, 35% build cost. It's just batty. Yeah, I'll make them a tributary in just a moment. I also did build this thing, so let's automate construction there. And we'll continue out and grab more stuff. I do want Halito. Oh, I did have that. Oh, it's unclaimed. Oh, I never clicked it. Oh, that's the problem. Oh, yeah, I see, I see. Right, I'm going to grab these three. And then we'll set off out into the wild blue yonder, I suppose. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so let's make another tributary. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, ladies and gentlemen? I forgot to actually convert this guy into a Scalarium. Let's do that. That's also going to solve all of my resource issues. Literally all of them. Um, yeah. Three fifty influence. I swear it was less before. Three hundred. One sixty-five. There we go. This is more like it. You will take. We'll take forty-five percent of everything. Yes, that looks acceptable. Of course, they accepted my offer. <laughs> oh, wacky. Alrighty, how are we doing, chat? Bibbidi boppity, your research progress is now Montu's property. Yeah, basically. Uh, don't forget, we still need some colony names for some of these colonies. Ooh, that's a problem. Let's build another star base. You should probably be resettled somewhere like Earth. Or Evelyn. Yeah, Evelyn. Wait, what? Why do you hate me? 
Because of the low amenities. Yeah, that would make sense. Yeah, that, 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 that checks out. And now you're fixed. Excellent. Right, okay. We've upgraded this. Let's... Put Overlord Garrison down, I suppose. And I think we've got our forces basically ready here. Yeah, let's bring these forces up to the front. I don't need to, I don't need to keep buying any of these things. I could I'm selling them. I should start buying them instead. Right, let's buy more. And I'll go back and turn that other thing on I had on before. Where is it? Education campaign. Yeah, let's turn that on. We have the Scholarium. Good. We grab that. How's our researchers doing? All good. Are they all doing something? No, one of them is not. I think, though, actually, you can come back and assist research on Sol for now. Yeah. Alrighty, chat. How are we doing? It'd be nice if AI used influence to make Vassal counter. Possibly. 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 Did I test the new buy-sell limits? No, I have. Oh. No, I haven't. We can test them out together. So this is at 4.0. Let's see if it goes up at 10. We'll leave it for a bit and we'll come back. That seems okay. We'll have to leave it for a few months to, to just to check. We demand tribute. Flee, flee for your lives. Ah, here we go. All right, so leadership conditioning. Basically, it's the... Ding! Level up everybody. Oh, it's so, so satisfying, honestly. Now, though, we're going to turn on the next agenda, which I love. So, military build-up's good. Military build-up is really good, chat. Okay. When you fire at minus 20% ship build cost. We've already got 35% somewhere, so this puts us up to 55% ship build cost reduction. You heard me correctly. 55%. We also get reduced ship energy upkeep and reduced war exhaustion gain for the 10 years while it's active. But, so what? Like... The 5% is good, and then when you activate it, just queue up all your ships. It doesn't matter. It runs out. Ir irrelevant. Favored society, on the other hand, 5% specialist resource pop... Uh, res blah, specialist pop resource output. 5% when it's launched, and additionally, on your capital, you get 20% resources from jobs. Combine that with the imperial benefit. We're at 30% extra resources on the capital. Like, these council things are just... like Oh, my goodness. It's... It's, um, it's fun, but it's very powerful. I'm glad that guests now do also get access to the agendas. If they didn't, this would be really, really a lot worse. Right, let's go to our leaders. Let's go through everyone and make them all better. So, we can either make our emperor Amada Logistician minus 7.5% ship upkeep. And don't worry, this will go up to minus 15% when we level it up again. Or Fortifier in reducing our uh, starbase upgrade cost and defense platform build cost. I'm actually going to go with the Amada Logistician because we're on the aggressive today. Head of research, what can we get? We could get a Particulars specialization. We could get Expansionist, don't really care about that. Maniacal could go up, but it's already at 6%. Going up to 9 is only a 3% buff. On the other hand, I think I might just get Physics Focus. No, let's get part part partic Particulars. Will it change at the meta? I'm, I'm almost certain yes. Yes. Oh... The Holy Forge Focus. Yes, I think I will be taking that on my industrialist governor. Thank you very much. Plus 10% alloys from jobs. Don't mind if I do. We could get Navy uh, experience here, which is good. Plus 20 nav cap and experience. Or we get the another reduction to ship upkeep. I'm going to stack that ship upkeep reduction. Thank you very much. The renowned scientist. Ooh, um... Basic resource discovery chance plus 5%. Insightful. Get Every time you do an anomaly, get three months of production for research. I think we'll do insightful. Yes, please. 
The Crown Prince. Now, we're obviously going to go with Visionary because they're going to end up being a leader uh, on, the, on the council, I mean. Now, Shanloa is doing Evelyn. Um, I think I'm going to go with Industrialist again. Unless, let me just check out my council. At this point, it might actually be worth swapping this fella over for someone slightly better. Just go through all the traits quickly. Uh, ooh. Right, level four, I'm going to not touch for now. This admiral... Oh, okay, okay. This admiral can become... I actually think this admiral looks like he's going to be an aggressive fighting admiral for us. So I'm going to go with the... I think I'll go with the aggressor. But reducing time spent missing action is good. So tactician means you are better at retreating. So this is one we not looked at before. So strategist, reducing ship build cost. Tactician, better at retreating. More hull points. That's kind of nice. Or extra fire rate and re weapons damage. I think I'll stack the fire, weight, fire rate and weapons damage. So where this leader is getting 10% fire rate, 5% weapons damage. Additionally, an extra 12% from their level on their fleet. So that's some pretty cool bonuses, honestly. Shan Luo. Where, where's Shan Luo? On the research world. Um, you know, I think I'm going to go with Industrialist again. Just for the extra resources from jobs we're going to be getting for that. Are Imperial Airs useful now? Well, kind of, because they actually give you stuff. Like, Imperial Airs allow you to do something. Do I show off? Yearn, shall I show off Nihilistic Acquisition? No, I, I want to make a video on it. I'm going to make a video on it. I'm going to make a video. I'm not going to show it off. But, um, Nihilistic Acquisition, I'm just saying. Oh, it's powerful. Let's do Shared Destiny. I'll grab the extra Envoys, and we'll, we'll shove them into Improving Relations and the like. Three you folks can go down on here. Yeah, I should buff, buff those relations. Buff, buff, buff. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Evelyn should have... Put some researchers down, Montu. Come on, you've got low research. Buff it. Ooh, a distress signal. Let's do it. No, actually, I think we should finish special projects with this guy, right? No. No, we shouldn't. Okay. But also, look. So he gives plus 10% chance to finding strategic resources. I mean, just wow. It's, um, it's wild how good some of this stuff is. You should just go to the capital. I think this is somebody who... No, it's just a necroid. Interesting. Maybe they've not taken over their primitives. In which case, it would behoove us to assist their primitives. Evelyn can have... You can go in Evelyn. Good, good. Excellent. I'm such a tease, as you know. Sorry. Um, you still have one that makes relations worse with your Scholarium, I think. But they're not on the council, so it doesn't actually matter. Unless they're on the council, you can ignore the negative council traits, which is very useful. We'll bombard that down. It's looking good. Do they not have any... Maybe this is a primitive. Maybe there's a necrophage primitive that got uplifted or something. Oh, that would be interesting. Okay. 
Let's stop buying as many alloys. Oh, this was actually, no, we were doing a test here, weren't we? Let's go to 11. Ah, no, no, 10 is too many. So you cannot buy 10 alloys, alloys per month anymore, Yearn. 10 alloys is too many. I have no longer got an Envoy Harming relation. This, uh, not with the Scalarium. No, no, I don't think so. Have I? Ooh, if I do, that's silly. I don't think you can have both, so... Oh, political crackdown. Don't mind if I do. Plus five stability. Just don't make unity there. Uh, you can't do harm and not harm at the same time. Improving. Four of them are improving relations. Gosh darn it, you're going to love me or I'll, or, or, or I'll be upset. Right. Inspired by Cosmic Phenomenon. Paul Lavoie, is that the head of research? No, that's Andre Andrea Giordano. Focus on societal, focus on engineering. Ooh, I think we'll go engineering. Thank you very much. Oh, they have another planet. How interesting. How are bombardments going? Not great. I'm going to leave a couple ships behind to bombard. And you will go and attack these folks. I've been noticing a bit of a bug at the moment as well. I have to talk about it. Um... AIs don't seem to be repairing their fleets very often, which is somewhat unfortunate, actually. Somewhat unfortunate. Is the DLC worth it? I'm going to be releasing, as I said already, I'm going to be releasing a uh, my opinion on that imminently. Port Kraskov. Because uh, I'm going to be releasing tomorrow a um, a video. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> Monty releasing videos? What? It's crazy. Yeah, no, I'm going to be releasing a video where I review... Where I, it's my review video, even. What? What? Oh. Well, we know who our next target are, ladies and gentlemen. We know who our next target are. Haven Sky next to us. We're going to have to go fight these guys. Oh, for the love of... One second. Let me just... Launch anti-crime campaign. Turn it back on again. Oh. Seismic, disturb seismic disturbances. Okay, so we've got, we've got a subterranean civilization. Should we either... Because we have two choices here. Should we either... Um, preemptive strike them. Fun. Fun. Or establish communications. I'm going to put the vote up to chat. Do we preemptive strike or establish comms? The poll is live. Let me know what you want me to do. We've only got a few months before there's going to be issues. So I need to I need to make a decision quickly. Oh, this is cool as well. So hostile planet is now a modifier. The, oh, no, that's not the one. Wait, what? Where is it? Aggressive wildlife. That's it. Aggressive wildlife and aggressive flora. So aggressive flora gives you three soldier jobs or maximum soldier jobs plus one times three of them. And then aggressive wildlife, we get one soldier job for every 10 pops. So I've got soldiers on this planet, possibly, without ever having to have soldiers. It's kind of interesting. Delete them. Why did it suddenly say 5,000 engineering? Because uh, that's how much it costs. This one costs one, and this one costs five. But we're making quite a bit of engineering, so it shouldn't be the end of the world. I mean, it's not the end of our world, anyway. <laughs> Pun intended. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, jeez, they're putting smugglers' ports down. This is going to be a real issue. Well, 
Right, I'm gonna have to end this war rather quick and go and attack the next people, I think. Oh, they've declared me the rival, have they? Well, they can be a rival right back. How very rude of them. Hello, Megaforge. Don't mind if I do. Mm, resource alternatives would be nice to have, for sure. What difficulty is this? Grand Admiral, um, mid-game scaling, the mid-game set to year 50. We basically managed to get the jump on this empire next to us and this other empire as well. I actually... Oh, we forgot to do the subterranean aliens. Oh. Oh. I'm going back. I'm going to reload from just literally a few days ago because I put the pole up and I forgot to do it, right? We're saying preemptive strike. We're going to do it. Really? I have to go back six months? All right. We'll go back six months. That's my bad chat. No, it's not cheating. I was just busy talking about the pole. I mean, if it was, I was actually playing, I would have clicked my own choice. We'll do preemptive strike then, as chat requested. Because I could just establish communications and send them back down, but that would be boring. So let's go blow them up. Uh, yes, I just called Vega the Grand Admiral into into the into the dirt a little bit. That is true. That is true, uh, Ragoon. Nice to have you here as well. Currently, let's have a look at our leaders. We've got what have we got? Level five Emperor at year thirty. Level seven Head of Research. That's pretty nice um level five grand storyteller we can't we don't really have anyone better for the grand storyteller role right now not even a little bit we've got the renowned scientist but we haven't got the, the governor i really want the governor have i shown off recruiting other species leaders yet well the reason i can't show it off is because um oh here we go yes yes you can recruit non-bio leaders This seems like a bug, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I'm concerned. I don't want 10% ethics attraction to guest out consciousness in my empire. What? Uh, what? Um, I think this is... I don't think I should be able to recruit the non-bio the non leaders. I... Um, Right. Yes. But it does add to the number of leaders I can recruit. And you basically have to have Migration Treaty, Federation, or Overlord with them to do it. So because I'm an Overlord of a, of a guest out, I can grab their leaders. No, I don't have a Migration Treaty with these guys, so I cannot recruit their leaders. I'd have to become their Overlord, that sort of thing. Intended feature, somebody says, puts glasses on. Yeah, intended feature. Now you can have, you can, well, I mean, it's kind of cool because it means you can get a bulwark and then probably recruit their leaders. I guess we'll turn this fella into a bulwark down here, maybe. Oh, we've taken tribute from them. We'll turn them into a bulwark afterwards. Oh no, these guys are equal in power to us. Uh-oh. Right, let's rump, jump back into our ship designer. I'm going to need more ships. I'm definitely going to need more ships. I could cloak. We could have a cloak fleet. That would be kind of funny, wouldn't it?
Yeah, let's build some cloak. Let's make some cloak ships as well. Why not? But first, I'm going to build a whole bunch of these destroyers. We're just going to send the power of our civilization through the roof. Cloaking can be bad against equal power, but it, it might be fun to have it. So basically, what you can do with cloaking, which is quite nice, is you can have a star base. It's very powerful. Have some fleets. And then normally the AI might not attack you, but now you can bait them into attacking you by using your, uh, your cloak. Uh-oh, what's that? Oh, crikey. Yeah, let's restrict that system. No, thank you. Oh, what? I ran out of... That's not fair. Right, let's grab 10 years more leader lifespan. And I guess we'll get system capital complex, thus making the council one, the council tr tradition kind of useless. How long has restricting systems been a feature? Quite a while. Yeah, that's been a feature for quite a while, I'm afraid. Um, if you don't know about it, uh, welcome to the future. Hamcad, where are you? Right, Hamcad's gonna become this. Then I'm going to show off the sector editor, I could, I hope. How do you get to it again? Ah, here it is. Right, cool. Oh, we can't interlink them. Ah, uh, I thought you could. Never mind. Well, look, we can edit sectors, kind of. How fast did you kill that first AI, though? Oh, year 15 or 20. I don't know. I stole their planets and I made them into a Scalarium Ragoon. It was, you can go back on the stream. They only ended, they went super greedy. So they had like six colonies they'd all just bought. So they must've spent about 3000 alloys on that rather than something else. Yeah, Imperial is giving us plus 10% resources from jobs on the capital. Uh, it's pretty nice, pretty darn nice if I do say so myself. I'll just send one ship over here. Are these guys at war with somebody? Wait, they're at war with them too? I, I beg your pardon? No. My vassal tried to jump on? Absolutely ridiculous. Shan't be allowing that to happen. Oh, precinct house, fine, I'll do it. Ridiculous, stupid AI. How's this planet going? Ah, victory. Peace in our time. Right, how powerful are they? We still don't know. Come on, get on with your job of building the darn spy network. Progenitor is absurd. I mean, the way Progenitor works, it, Progenitor, so I have to say something I've not mentioned. If you want the best build to get the fastest leaders, Progenitor Hive will do that still. It's absurd how much you can get because you end up like stacking all of these monthly bonuses on top of everything. It's just, it's just maybe. It's, it's just, uh, not maybe, it's just uh, crazy even. It's maybe. Um, let me go to leaders. Leaders, leaders, leaders. Right, so generals. Oh. Well, I mean, this general seems really good. Ship upkeep, minus 10%. Champion of the people and spycraft. Holy moly. Yeah, you can go on the council. You're hired. You're from Evelyn and you used to be the special operations officer. Well, there we are. This will reduce our leader experience gain a little bit, but I don't care. Let's just, let's put it that way. 
And you will go straight on the council, uh, madam. Oof. So 7.5% happiness, 10% chip upkeep. <laughs> oh my lord. <clears throat> you can't see ship upkeep reductions, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd be able to see how much we're getting here, but it'd be, it would be really good. Let's just put it that way. It'd be really good. This is still working, but is nine? I mean, we can't know if nine. I'm just going to stop buying the alloys. I'll stop buying the alloys. Um, basically, you, the, the, the numbers you can buy now has changed on how many you can buy from the market. Uh, yeah. Clone leader traits do almost feel overkill, but they're going to die relatively quickly before you, uh, before if unless you descend or, or, or something like that. So, so it is kind of swings and roundabouts, I suppose. The underground areas will give us more room for expansion. Compliments to all service involved. Yeah, well done, chat. We've just nuked an entire civilization into the dirt. I hope you're happy. Corpse filled generators. Excellent. Excellent. We found their treasury. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Chad's like, yay, we killed them. All right, I was asked about it earlier. So what I'm going to do right now is take a quick save and we're just going to jump back to the menu and take a look at oppressive autocracy because I do want to show off exactly how that one works. Pay attention to nothing, ladies and gentlemen. There's nothing to look at here. No, nothing to see. Move along, please. Nothing to see here. Right, let's just jump in as this. Let's imagine we started this way, shall we? They were already in the dirt, though, the tech geek. Oh, my goodness me. That's not... That's not... That's not right. Uh, oh, did we get better leaders this time? No. These leaders are actually worse, possibly, than last time. We had a lucky lucky start there, I think. Uh, oh, capitalist. An eye for talent. Yeah. <laughs> but let's look at the... So this planet... Oh, my goodness. So... 18 amenities starting the game. A little bit of crime, but you do have three enforcers to try to mitigate that. If, if a genocide happens underground and no one sees it, did it even happen? That's a dangerous question to ask, sir. So, oppressive autocracy. How's it working? So, our rulers here produce amenities, but you'll notice that our regular people, well, they're not very happy. They're not very happy at all. However, they don't use any amenities whatsoever. We're only using three... Um, uh, uh, pop amenity usage here is three from all of our pots. That is, the two politicians using a bit, as well as the enforcers using half an amenity each per enforcer. So, we don't really need amenities. But we have an overwhelming number, so we're at plus 20% happiness. Meaning that our rulers here are at 100% happiness. High amenities, dystopian society, infinite opportunities, and prosperous unification. That evens us out at a, a nice, generous 54%. As you can see, it's a little, a little weird. Let's go to our species rights now so we can see what the rights are for dystopian society. All right, so what's it do? 25% extra happiness on our rulers unless you have a consumer goods deficit. Now, that means that if you're at zero and you are going negative then you'll lose that plus 25% bonus. So as long as you just stay in the positive, you're fine. Or don't go into a deficit, you're fine, basically. Be very afraid if you do go into a deficit, though, your society may collapse. Enforcers have plus 10% happiness unless there is a consumer goods or amenities deficit. So you don't want to have negative amenities because then they get unhappy. Specialists and workers get minus 100% happiness. So they're very sad. Very sad. But they get minus 25% political power and your rulers get plus 900%. One of the biggest bonuses here, if you notice, your specialists only require 0.1 consumer good per specialist. So we have a five-fold reduction in the regular, um, uh, the, regular um, the regular upkeep for our specialists, meaning that we don't really need many consumer goods at all. 
This, I think, would be really good for, you know, I just think it's quite, it could be quite an economical build. Um, it also makes clerk kind of useless because they don't provide trade value. They don't provide amenities. They're just straight up worse than technicians. So, yeah, they're not slaves. They just, they're just, they're just, you know, they're like, help, help. I'm being repressed. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, mm. Not so much political power, whereas our rulers, yeah, the rulers have a lot of political power. Having, I think, so probably one of the better ways you could probably do this is going for, um, probably going imperial. You also can't add it or remove it after the start of the game, so that's one issue. Oppressive autocracy, you're stuck in it. You can't reform. But I think aristocratic elite with oppressive autocracy would be quite good because that gives you, because you get the noble estates, you'll get additional ruler jobs, giving you additional happiness or additional stability average on the planet. It's, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Ceci n'est pas un pipe, says Ragoon. Yeah, I love a good Magritte. Um, yeah, this is not a pipe. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, no uh, humans were actually harmed in the making of this. All right, let's jump back in. That was a nice little reprieve for a moment, nice little break, and we'll, we're at year 30, let's continue. I'm probably going to go for, yeah, I'm going to try and keep playing this for a little while. We're having fun. I, I'm having fun anyway. Didn't I send a scientist here to do this? I swear I sent this fellow. Oh, because I said to do it next and he's going to be auto-serving forever. I see. Yeah, go on. Go on and do that. Right, we're gearing up. We'll gear up for the next war now. I just want enough intel to know how powerful they are before I attack. Because they seem to be equivalent and they've got they've got a vassal. So that's that's a challenge. A challenge worthy of my skill. Hello, Mega Forge. Good. I think we'll go with missiles now. Another criminal syndicate. Are you kidding me, game? Two criminal syndicates next to each other. Oh, this is just pain. I mean, there's a reason we're conquering the galaxy. The human empire is just trying to deal with all this nonsense. Absolute, unadulterated barbarity in the galaxy. It's just atrocious. You know, I won't be standing for it. <laughs> I reckon we put the crown prince out to pasture. Recently, a scientist working on our primary physics lab on Earth noticed strange fu fluctuations in their work. Our hyperdrive-related tests suffered most from these interferences. Yet these interruptions only went on for about a week before stopping entirely. At the same time, Evelyn noticed fluctuations from from the now closed dimensional portal. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. We should investigate this. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is excellent. That is very excellent. Wait, we've got the pre Cybrex precursor and I didn't even notice. Oh, wow. Blessed run, ladies and gentlemen. Blessed run. Okay, now we're definitely more powerful than them. Excellent. Um... Oh, we're rivals with them, right? Yes. Okay, so let's just take their stuff, I guess. Why shouldn't I? Integrated cybernetics? Don't mind if I do diddly oo. Didn't I have... 
Did I have a world with... No. I didn't, did I? Negative mass, here we go. Eager and anxious discourse started in the scientific circles of Earth today as Andrea Giordano published his recent findings of spontaneously appearing, appearing negative mass particles close to Sol. These findings could advance our understanding of artificial wormholes and a host of other subjects. Our Admiralty holds a different view on the subjects and suggests we bring our fleets home until the source of the new and untested matter can be determined. Harvesting negative mass plus 5% monthly research. I think this one goes good. I... I'm actually starting to question whether it does go go well. Um, oof. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Ah, uh, we'll just buy lots of consumer goods until we can sort the market thing out. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, chat. Don't worry. Uh, we'll get the evasion. Nice. Oh, no, no. Wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. You should be that one. And you should be this one. So something about the agendas, once you've uh, activated agenda, you are locked out from using it again for quite a while. And then here we've got all the unavailable agendas. So some of the good ones, let's see. Um, cybernetic advantage, plus 2% organic pop assembly, or plus 10% organic pop assembly speed. That's kind of nice. Uh, genetic pursuit, plus 10% pop organic pop assembly speed. Impenetrable border, meh. Inner stability plus 20 stability everywhere. Just just have it. Oppose the fallen. This is great if you're trying to kill a fallen empire plus 25% damage to fallen empires. You no longer really need to trade. Oh! Oh, we got the child! I didn't. I was just being stupid. We got the child, ladies and gentlemen. That's good. We just found a child in an escape pod and we've resuscitated them. Or we have the chance of resuscitating. Quick, resuscitate them. Resuscitate the child. No child will die on our watch. All right, we got. I think we got enough fleets here. Let's uh, let's just do it. Cry havoc. Let's slip the dogs of war. Legendary paragon incoming. Quest ask Yernzax. Legendary Paragon incoming, says Monty. Right, let's expel Corporation. Great, the side down link. Let's tell them we like them. And now we charge. And we need more armies. think gas refinery and then I also kind of want to have a civilian industry down there alrighty we won the first battle let's move on to the next one oh they've decided to jump in too of course they have of course they have they see the writing on the wall and they're jumping oh we've got the crystal codex project are we going to give Excades a home, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, I think so. Remember, chat, Mondo is generally open for bribes. If you want to rename the legendary Paragon, Super Chats are your friend. Well, the legendary Paragon first has to grow up in our civilization, so he will be molded by our people. Let's have a look at the Relic Fragment as well. We have this Relic Fragment, one of four. Uh-oh, the night sky split. And 300 fleet just came through. Run away! But uh, also, yeah, I mean, our one station should handle this very effectively, I'm saying. Yeah, go on, just kill him. Pew, pew, pew.
Alrighty, let's reduce the maximum number of negative leader traits, I think. As the last corvette falls, an ensign manning the sensors of our starbase reports something curious. These ships are very similar to outdated vessels that the human empire stopped using years ago. These ships are lacking FTL drives and are equipped with obsolete weaponry. While the report is coming in, a communication request originating from the strange tear reverberates throughout the system. It's our highest, it's our highest clearance codes from 10 years ago. Look, it's me. What a shock. So, the comm screen flickers on, what looks to be the most exhausted, elatist, and simultaneously terrified human imaginable appears. They look familiar. A dead ringer for Andrea Giordano if he'd aged 20 years. Uh, hello Earth Alpha, this is Beta. I love how they refer to themselves as Beta. I find that funny. They stop to gather themselves. I, uh, we, we're terribly sorry for what just transpired. You have to understand that was a rogue and defunct element of our world def world's defense collective thinking they could seize the Earth by force. I know the words might sound empty, but please believe me when I say that we have no ill intention towards you. What are you? I and everyone else here are from a parallel universe to yours. We don't know when, but we believe that our two realities split some time ago, and our universe has been unraveling ever since. We first noticed when remote systems started disappearing and have been hard at work trying to avoid certain doom. For the last few decades, all of our resources and hours have been invested in opening this trans-dimensional gateway. It's only with our most experimental technology and advanced physics that we, will, we have managed to reach you, just a few years before our reality ceases to be. Why are you lacking FTL? Um, wait, you managed to crack FTL? Question mark? Oh, what glorious news. Then those fools had no reason to attack. The whole galaxy is available to us assuming you'd be willing to help us. Enough talk, what do you want? Please save my, um, our civilization. Yeah, they're all dying. We'll confer with our experts. Do we get a situation yet? No, not yet. Alrighty, so they want help, and we're saying maybe. Maybe. Shame we can't lose these negative traits once we've got them. Attack? What are you doing? Zoom zoom, it's dead. Move on. Ah, oh, society. Good, good. Righty ho, uh, we'll grab that. A lone defender. Huh. Right, so for our third one, you might be able to guess what I'm going to grab. I'm going to be grabbing here Vaults of Knowledge. Effective Counselor skill plus one, and we'll get to build the Vaults of Knowledge building, which will level up and produce some unity and increase leader experience when we get Destiny traits. We're relatively close to Destiny traits, so I'm going to grab that, but not right now because I can't afford it. I'm a liar. Sorry. <laughs> we will get it soon, though. I promise. Pinky promise. Oh, did we kick them off anyway? Oh, we kicked them off anyway. Wow. So we we kicked them off, but we're still forced. We're still at war with them for expropriation. That seems fair, doesn't it? I could set my fleets on aggressive, I suppose. Um... Where's that scientist? I had a scientist recently. Where's he gone? Allow their surrender. So now we can actually see the surrender mechanics in action, which is cool. Habitability. Good. I'll grab that. We'll grab hyper relays. Everything's coming up onto. The Citizen Republic of Manjusura Prime. Yeah, we'll say hello. Oh, wow, they're kind of big, aren't they? Um, still getting phenomenal bonuses there. I just, I, I, I can't even with those bonuses. They're just nuts.
All right, so apply to the beta universe, ladies and gentlemen. Shall we study the event, loot them, save as many as possible, or bring the beta Earth to us? I'm gonna I'm gonna put a poll up. So study, do loot, uh, save. Bring the planet. So studying will give us six. Sorry, save as many gives us six beta humans. Influence, we get a situation. Loot don't give us a lot of money. A lot of stuff. We've actually got plenty of energy credits and minerals though. Or we could just study them. Bring the one of us. Onga bugger, one of us. Right, let's go. We'll, we'll, we'll probably bring them through, but also we'll grab vault. So Philosopher King, sorry, I want to look at this. Council experience, 20%, minus one leader, maximum negative traits. I think it's pretty good. Plus you also get council experience gain for the position. Um, I think it's quite a nice little kajigga. Distinguished Admiralty, I think is good to remove later on when you've got a fair few admirals at a high level. I mean, in fact, we could actually get rid of it now and swap it out for something like uh, where are you, Masterful Crafters? Because that's going to give us armor hit points and give us more consumer goods, building slots, trade value, yada, yada, yada. One of us. Ooga booga, one of us. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just reform for Vaults of Knowledge for now. And it looks like we're going to be bringing the planet through. I'll end the poll here. Let's bring them through then. Oh, this is going to go down fast. 45 energy, 10 of each. Oh, is that it? That's not very much, is it? Ah, when you reform your government, you have to re-choose what you want um, in terms of, you know, these, these things. So I'm just going to go back with Grand Storyteller and re-employ this fellow. Because it kind of resets your government. Why would you want to be an agri world? I don't I don't understand that preference. Oh ho! Crossing the dimensional barrier. A common issue has started occurring ever since the rift appeared. Families in our dimension are reaching out to their beta counterparts and smuggling them into our stable universe. Oh my goodness me. Can you imagine though? Like imagine your brother had died and then you found your brother alive in the beta universe. Oh my lord. Oh that got really deep. Oh, that got kind of... Yeah, okay. Um, this is often done by the border guards assigned to keeping the universes separate as basically everyone in the human empire has finally has family on the other side. A few groups doing this wouldn't matter, but we quickly have a stampede on our hands if the practice spreads. If the beta universe... Yeah, organized visiting hours, I'm pretty sure, is the is the correct one. Because um, that's going to end up with a problem. Yeah, we'll organize visiting hours. I want a copy of me to play multiplayer with you, I suppose. That's a good point right there. Let's keep going down then. Stage two, and we'll get to stage one soon. Do we have our. Uh, let's bring the fleets. Uh, let's bring the. Uh, Bring these fellas up. Then we can attack with them. I mean, uh, liberate with them. Oh, we, are, we, are, we already got one will to surrender. I apologize, we didn't even notice. We should also convert this over now. We don't need it anymore to be a bulwark against terror. We'll turn it into the Vault of Knowledge. 
Quite a bit of upkeep that really, isn't it? How are we doing, chat? Are certain RNG events prohibited from firing in multiplayer multiplayer events? I don't I don't think so. That would be a mirror clone for sure. What did David say? A copy of Yernsax but only plays bios? Oh lord, that would be a mirror clone, yeah. Have we taken this planet yet? We are close to breaking them, but actually they're taking a while, so we'll just we'll just land armies. <laughs> I should turn off capacity subsidies. We don't need that. Let's do veneration of saints in this one. That should give us more unity overall. Do we want to steal their stuff? Should we take the great work? Um, they're stealing artifacts. Let's let's have a poll on this one. Uh, return or two is better than one. Some people in chat seem to be saying return it, but we could keep it, you know. We could just keep it. We probably should return it, though. It's overall better to do that. But, but we could keep it. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> It belongs in a museum. Ah, oh, that's a good point. Right. Poll going to leave up for a little bit longer. We're going to start press play again. And we will come back to it. Meanwhile, our forces are on the ground dealing with the uh, breakwater battalions. Those filthy Xenos. Can we force peace yet? I mean, we could status quo. Oh, oh, actually, status quo won't matter at this point. Yeah, let's just status quo because they've got no branch offices. Remember all you who are gifted subs. <laughs> uh, we'll return it then. I can see the return is winning the poll. Excellent. We've got more slaves. Oh, slaves, they're just great. Wait, is there a... Are we already at 32% crime? Oh, yeesh. Let's, um... This should be the sector capital if I do that. Yeah. Let's uh, see if we've got a good governor. Oh, I know what we could put down. Oh. But we've got the alloys from jobs. Oh, wait, no, this is an alloy world as well. Allegedly. Hmm. For now, I'm going to turn it into a factory world. And then I'm going to build a precinct house, a robot assembly. Because these clerks aren't actually doing anything for us, really. I'm just going to build up more of that. Oh, wait a minute. We're running out of minerals. And I do want to get rid of some of that crime. So either I hire a... A crime hater. Which I don't have one. Or I put this fella down. There's no actual resources coming from them though. But we would get minus 15 crime simply from placing them. For now I think I'll leave it. I'll leave it for now. Yeah, no minus 15 now. It's more, more, more reduction than it used to be. It's better than ever before. On this planet, we're also doing good. Um, yeah. They claim to be unhappy, but they're just confused. That is a lot of unemployment, though. 
Eek Barber Duke. Right, let's grab a bunch more of this and we will... We'll put them to work in the mines! Excellent. Absolutely excellent. Collective self's really good now. Plus one leader cap, plus one le external leader pool size, minus 10% leader upkeep. Piotr, you say you love my channel. Thank you very much for your super chat. I really appreciate it. Um, welcome down. This is, uh, we're showing off the new DLC early. We're having fun. Just this once, everybody lives. This is such a Doctor Who reference. The whole thing of bringing a planet to Earth, like it's, it's clearly the end of the 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 um the end of time arc, and and this is like the doc Doctor Who saying just this once, everybody lives. I do enjoy a bit of Doctor Who, can't lie, but yeah. Are there any humble bundle deals on this DS DLC that gives you a cut? So. So as of yet, I don't, let me just check. I don't think it's been released on Humble Bundle yet. Um, just checking, I'm just checking, I'm just checking. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Galactic Patagons, no. Galactic Gonagons, no, but I will be sharing a, a link to the Humble Bundle page. Basically, if you follow my link to Humble Bundle and buy anything from the Humble Bundle store, any game keys, any of the bundles, that sort of thing, you will also be supporting this channel. I think it's 5%, um, something like that, of your purchase goes towards supporting the channel too. So if you have a choice between buying on Steam and buying on Humble Bundle for this DLC, and they're the same price, you might want to support the channel. I, that, that way, 5% of your purchase goes towards me. It would be nice, but um, no pressure. You don't have to, of course. And don't forget as well, oh, can we get a thousand likes? We're at 894. One like equals one leader experience gain. Can we hit a thousand? Because we've had a thousand viewers. Can we get a thousand likes? That'd be pretty cool. Earth Beta, let's have a look. These people are now super screwed. Not of this world. Yeah, they're going to get a lot of physics, but they're, the species is slowly, it's from this universe and it's slowly, is degrading slowly. Yeah. Otherwise, they're the same. Do they come up as me in the... Yeah, they do come up as my people. Good. All right. Let's keep this as a factory world. I have a little factory world right next to the capital. It's going to be fun. Also going to grab some of that. Beta Earthlings, I don't feel so good, Mr. Montu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, now I, I now use only beta humans to colonize. Really? Is that... I mean, let's uh, do a poll. Let's do a poll on that one. Should we let them spread their wings out into the galaxy? I still don't have Starhold technology. Wait a minute, what? Also, why has this not gone away? This is a bit of a bug. Oh, that's super annoying. Oh, I'll, I'll just have to leave it there then. That's really annoying. Enslave them. Um. Um. Can't spell butter without beta. I, I I mean, I suppose. Let's give them a world up here. There we go. Beta humans. Um, I need a name, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the beta. Well, for now, I call it beta human colony. But I do need a name. Is it costing upkeep for the situation? Yes. Yes. I'm still paying the upkeep. Oh, that's really annoying. That's a stupid bug. Oh, for the love of Job. Oh, I want to show off something as well, ladies and gentlemen. Um, because I, I took a screenshot earlier, but I, I can put it on stream now because it's part of it's part of the game. So, 
let's take a look at something that we that I looked at a little earlier. Who is this handsome devil? One of the one of the new renowned leaders. But wait a minute, what's this? They're a general. That avatar is a general. Could have been a scientist, could have been a governor. Could have been uh could have been an admiral, but oh no, oh no 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 no. That portrait is a general. I said that pretty buff. Can't lie, pretty buff, you know. Ten on ten respect. That 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 lizard hits the gym. Absolutely hits the gym. Also, those traits, um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna show off. I'm gonna show off that trait actually. Let's uh let me just load a game in. Um Ba, 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 ba. I played humans a little bit recently. Can you tell? I think this is the save. I think I've got this. Can't flex. Oh, yeah, this is the save. All right, so. In this save, I do indeedy. What? Wasn't it this save? No, no, it's not this save. Oh, oh, pay attention to nothing. Nothing to see here. Move on. Nothing to see here. Oh, wait, no, I've done the wrong one again. Again, nothing to see here. Uh, um, nothing to see here. Oh, nothing to see. That. There's nothing. There's no problems. This is, this is not a bad. There's not a problem with that save. Absolutely nothing to see there. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. No, it's not this one. Oh, but this is, sorry. So this is the governor I wanted. Plus 50% worker pop resource output, minus 35% pop up keep. Yeah, you do a 5% growth reduction, but you, and minus 10% happiness, and minus 5 stability on the planet, but 50% worker pop resource output, and 15% minerals from jobs. Whoa. And plus 25% slave pop output. It just put one of these down on a world, on a resource producing world, and it's just amazing. This governor is so overpowered. You get one of these, you put it on your capital early if you're producing a lot of resources. Look, I'm making, what's this? I'm making... I've got bonuses here of like over 200% to my pro, pro, to my um, to my energy jobs. My base value here is only seven. I've only got a level one energy grid, but I'm making 22 energy per pop. I just need to find the right save. Give me a moment. I'm gonna find it. I don't think I've loaded this one up. Let's try this one. No, it's not this one. Where's my save gone? Oh, 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 don't look at any of that. <laughs> Um, just give me a moment, folks. I'm just trying to work out which save it is. Uh, I think I've done... Ah, it's this one. It's this one. Multiple plays, but this is it. All right, here we go. Here we go. So, ignore the fact that I've got a war going on. That doesn't... And ignore the fact... Look, ignore all these pops being abducted. That's not something I'm showing off. That's not the important point. Actually, I need to go... We need to go further back. We need to go further back, ladies and gentlemen. Alrighty, watch this. We need 25 more likes first off to get somewhere. Do I have... Is this... Have I gone back too far? I went back too far. Damn it. 
All right, I have to go forward a little bit. I'm so I'm, we're gonna get. Believe me, the wait will be worth it when you see. I promise you. I promise you. Load screen simulator. Just give it a minute. All right, we'll ignore that for a moment. Here we go. 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 Ah, uh, we don't need to put them on the council. Let's just go to our leader screen. So, we've got the uh, we've got the Montu General. What does the Montu General do? Disorganized. Bit of a diss, but I'll, I'll live with that. Um, plus forty percent army upkeep. That's not so bad. Don't worry about that. Butcher. Very very in favor of this. You know, subtle as a sledgehammer. Absolutely. Um, kidnapper. Oh, kidnapper three. Whenever you win a ground combat, as an attacker. Abduct pops as slaves to random colonies, 30% chance. Okay. So, you don't even have to claim planets anymore. You don't even have to take a special civic. You don't have to take, you don't have to take a, um, an, a, an ascension perk. You can just invade planets one at a time with this general and steal their pops. A uh, female Montu. Yeah, you're right. It's female. Female Montu. Gia Zumon. I love the, the alien bit here. That's pretty cool. Um, plundering Warlord as well. Whenever you win a ground combat, depending on the districts on the planet, gain 100 basic resources of the district type, plus 50 advanced resources, and plus 25 research points. So every time you take a planet, you plunder and get stuff. Holy moly, it's good. I mean, on top of that, the other one I want to show you, actually. Let's just... I just want to quickly show... Uh, one second... Reform into a crusader spirit. So, oh no, we've got some issues with crusading now. Yeah, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's look at what that those traits do, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Shall we look at that? So, what does the zealot trait do? Oh, I probably need to unpause. Oh, I need to uh, lead a reroll. Update leader pool. Update leader pool. All right, so, okay, zealot trait. Minus 20% combat disengagement chance. So this is, sorry, this is the new, this is the new Crusader Spirit Civic, which I really, I love this one. So good for RP. You get um, the Zealot trait on Admirals and Generals. You can only use Liberation Wars and you get 5% weapons damage minus 5% ship build cost. Of course, we're going to be stacking those other modifiers. It's pretty great. But what do those two traits do? So Zealot as an Admiral, minus 20% ship disengage and plus two points of unity. For every point of ethics diversion, for every ship you destroy in combat. That means when you fight in a war, if you obliterate your enemy, you are just going to stack up unity. What about the governor, I hear you ask? Oh, sorry, no, what about the general, I hear you ask? What does the crusader trait do? For every enemy army killed in combat, plus 25 unity. And these are only the level 1 versions. They upgrade to get better and better and better. Basically, you can complete you can complete a unity rush via warfare now. It's it's wild. Very wild. I love it. I love it. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. Renowned journey. Let's get back to the game we were playing because we're having fun back in that game, year forty. I just wanted to show that off. Def the, the female Montu leader thing. Death by alien snoo snoo it shall be, says somebody in chat. I'm really annoyed we can't get rid of Ply to the beta universe. That's deeply upsetting. I'm going to throw down Autocathon Monument. Oh, we've got crime. No crime here, luckily. Right, plus 10% specialist training. We're almost complete with aptitude. Then we'll get plus one leader starting traits. So, this is going to be stupid. So, when we get a new leader now, we're going to get plus one. We're going to get plus one. And then when we complete this, we're going to get plus two starting traits. Admirals will be at level three. So, that's three, four, five traits. Um, and on top of that... No, they'll be at level four. So, Admirals will be recruited at level four with six traits... 
and plus one effective counselor skill. It's like, it's, it's like, oh, leaders, yes, they're going to work for you. Do not worry. There are no related issues to be found. They did add the new capital planet types, so we could have a forge capital, a factory capital, a trade capital, or a capital extraction one. Now, actually, if we compare the bonuses here, I'm not... So the, the only reason I would I would convert these, if I wanted to turn... I wanted to get rid of all of these artisan jobs on the capital, and actually I will. I will do that. Um, well, but. So there's a bit of a but here. Yeah, you get plus 15% metallurgist output. Compare that to regular, where you get 10% resources from all jobs. So this means my researchers will get a bit worse, my priests will get worse, my entertainers get worse, my technicians and miners all get worse, but I will get these, uh, these artisans will become instead um, uh, metallurgists. So that's, it is, a, you know, it swings and roundabouts. You sent me a console command that can maybe remove the situation. I will have a look. Right, I'm gonna make a save and we'll try it. Cause I'm gonna cause I'm annoyed. Thank you. No, it's it's not it's it's bugged in and it's just not even moving, but I can't get rid of it. I don't understand why. Um that's a bit of an annoying bug. I mean, it's not the end of the world. 45 energy and 10% from each um, research output. You know, it's it's not it's not the end of the world, but it's not great. Like, why would I want to have all my researchers be at 10% less? Let's see, situation log. Monthly engineering research minus 10%. Is it being applied here? I'm getting the 45 from situation there. No, I'm not. Sorry. That's stations, not situations. Well, actually, I'm not even getting the negative modifier applied. Uh, it's just a graphical issue then. Fine. Fine. Oh, we've leveled up the researcher. Great. So this one, I think... I think I'm going to make this one an, al an, anal an analyst to boost the efficiency of um, helping out on planets. And we're going to send them back. Meanwhile, you can investigate anomalies and research... And just investigate anomalies. Go on. Uh, yes, assist research and come back and assist research, please, on, I think, this world? On Evelyn. Yeah, Evelyn needs the research help. Monty doing God's work, beta testing and calling it early access lot. Well, I mean, yeah, I've raised quite a few bugs. Um... That Montu governor I showed you. Oh, we hit a thousand likes, ladies and gentlemen. We're at one thousand likes. We hit a thousand viewers earlier, and now we are at one thousand likes. That's that's history. Oh, somebody uh, somebody took their like away. Oh, that's sad. Oh, we're back at a thousand again. We're back at a thousand. Huzzah! A thousand and twelve. Wait, what? How did that happen? Who who did that? I mean, I appreciate you, but, 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 but wow, okay. Right, let's bring our fleets back now. And we're going to do some uh, repairing, upgrading, that sort of thing. Ready for the next war. Should I support independent? Propose secret fealty? Don't mind if I do diddly you. It's nice to see the robot worlds are working. That's great. So what I'm basically using these for is, um, is robots. Yeah, that all looks good. Good, good, good. Secret fieldy worked. We now have cruisers. Let's go for star holds. We do really need star holds. That'd be nice. Evolving logic would be good too. How are we doing, chat? With you hitting a thousand likes, now is a good time to mention how people can win a DLC key tomorrow. That's a good point. So tomorrow, uh, and we're going to use only beta humans to colonize from now on. Tomorrow, um, if you join the stream tomorrow, which I might as well just make it public now, I suppose. Uh, let's do that. Just a moment. 
yes, we'll join the galactic community. They need our strong leadership. And we should also go to government, change diplomatic stance to supremacist. So I'm just going to make this public. Do, do, do. So you can all see to what tomorrow's stream will look like and what time it's at and all of those sorts of things. So how can you win a key tomorrow instead of having to buy a key for this new game? How can you win one? Well, all that you'll have to do, all, um, actually let's do that first, then you can come, then you should come over here. All you'll have to do is come and watch the live stream. If you're watching the live stream, I'm going to be giving a certain number of keys away to viewers in the stream. Additionally, if you join my Discord community, I'm giving away keys to anyone who's in the Discord community. So join my Discord community and you can possibly get a key that way. Um, and on top of that, I'm hosting a multiplayer game. If you join the multiplayer game, you could also get a key that way because I'm going to give some keys out to people playing in the multiplayer game. I've got, I've got a, a number of keys to give away. Thank you very much to Paradox um, Interactive for... Well, actually, thank you very much to the community team for giving giving the keys to me um, to, to be able to give them away. This is getting prohibitively expensive, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, so yeah. Anyone, not everyone. Did I say everyone? Sorry. Did I say everyone? I meant anyone. Not everyone's going to get a key. Um, <laughs> No, 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 it's everyone. Rip my bank account. No, no, I, I meant, I meant, um, I said the wrong word. It's not a legally binding agreement. You can't hold me to it. Um, uh, Psionic Theory? Yeah, we'll, we'll grab that. Maybe we should go Psionic Ascension. I was going to do Cybernetic, but we could go Psionic Ascension. I mean, we are some kind of spiritualist, so that could work. Wait, what? What do you mean it? Did it just go up a bit? Favored society. Excellent. Now we will expand the council once more. Expanding the council is basically the best thing you can do. What, why can't I? Oh, I have to wait five years. Ooh. Hmm. I don't want to not do any of them, but I don't particularly want to do any of them. <laughs> I'll just wait. We'll wait five years, then I'll expand the council. I'd rather wait the five years that, and, and not overshoot. Right. Boom. Flesh is weak, or should we go psionic extension? I'll put that up to a vote, actually. But how are our leaders doing? We've got level seven. Oh, we're about to get this guy's gonna get to level eight. Then we'll get a destiny trait. Oh, that is so good. Oh, that is so good. How far off are we XP wise? Wait, a thousand off, right? Or am I? Huh. Cybernetic will get rid of the negative beta trait, but Psionic could allow us to have a god emperor. Don't we want a god emperor, David Woodpecker? Wouldn't that be exciting, ladies and gentlemen? Wouldn't we like that? Oh, I'm going to put down a couple of farmers. The flesh is weak for the Emperor! I mean, Psionic is coming ahead strong here. Strong. Mind powers, exclamation mark. Oh, scum and villainy. No, not on source. 76%. Ugh. Well, I guess who we're going to war with... I guess we know who we're going to war with next, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, good riddance. We got rid of the branch office on Evelyn. That's what we thought you said. Uh, 
star base, star base, good, good. More hyper relays, excellent. Do we bring everyone home? Good, let's merge these. So the other thing that's awesome, right? Admirals now increase the amount of uh, fleet capacity depending on the skill level of the Admirals. You see here, Admiral skill level five plus 50 Admirals, plus 50 to our fleet capacity, meaning that we actually don't need as many Admirals now because our fleets can be bigger. Well, it looks like we're going to be going for Psionic. Uh, it does look like that a lot, doesn't it? In the regulatory facilitation, if you please. Oh, and Gene Tailoring's popped up. We could also go genetic. We could do genetic, but no, we're gonna go psionic. We do. We're gonna do psionic. Mind over matter. We gain access to the psionic tradition tree and the pole. We're making so much unity here. Wait, hold the phone. That's excellent. Did I ever uh, get the upgraded starbase? I think I did. Oh, should I never put anything on this? Oops. Perhaps we should be getting a bit annoyed with these folks. Yeah, I mean, I think we'll 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 get rid of the branch offices soon. Ninety-six percent crime. Why game? Why do you hate me? All right, we'll put some humans in it. Oh, and it went to a hundred. This one went to a hundred. Excellent. Launch out the crime campaign. Good. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Good afternoon, CJSGNR. How goes the search of the best leader? Well, we are very close to getting our first destiny trait at year 44, which I think is good going. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy with that kind of performance right there. All right, I know what I'm going to do, actually. To, I'm going to give them social welfare. Which just sounds silly, but no, 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 not residents. Social welfare. There we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. That should solve my happiness problems and stuff. Yeah, that goes, that goes, that goes up now. Fabricators, geothermal fracking. Yeah, let's grab that. Not quite it yet. I need to get to year 47 before we can up push that up again. The Mitron Autocracy. These guys look a bit like orcs. And we'll greet orcs in battle. Absolutely. Let's. Uh, that's good. This is good. We're going. I mean, the economy is doing good. The economy is doing great, actually. Um, yeah. Favor society is so good. Righty ho. Let's improve that one. No, actually, the alloy mega forge on Earth would be better. Yes. Oh, they broke secret fealty. Those buggers. Right, mid-game crisis in six years. Right, no, no, uh, crisis should be at 75. So we've got 20 years until the crisis. It's only at two times, but it's still that's still something. Oh, the Minister of Defense just went up. So we can either get 5% ship uh, sublight speed across the board, border guard, so increased defense platform build speed, to star base damage and star base hull points, which is not amazing, or... Armada Logisticians. So we're already at minus 7.5. We go to minus 10% with an extra 2% nav cap. Now that one, I actually don't think is worth it. 
but I do think Gale Speed is worth it. So I'm going to grab that. That gives everybody a little bit of a speed buff empire-wide. We should build some cruisers, you know. Yeah, we should definitely build some cruisers. I need to get on the cruiser thing. Ew. We do have fighters. Just in case we come up against any... Yeah, we'll go fighters like that. I'm going to put the tier 2 SRAM and metal armor in. That looks good. Happy with that. Excellent. Because I want to be able to deal with Corvettes as well. The AI does tend to have a lot of Corvettes at times. Oh, Lord. 35% reduction in ship build cost is just so nice to have. Mind over matter. Here we go. We're breaching into that shroud, baby. Wait, what? Why did why did one of them get employed unemployed? That's a little annoying bug. Damn it. Damn it, Janet. It's Grand Admiral, mid-game scaling. We're getting to the mid-game in just a couple of years' time, so soon we might be running into a few issues. I was going to check my factions out. How are we doing? 87%. They don't like that we have machines, but they're happy. They, they actually don't care as long as they have no rights and whatnot. Oh, this is beautiful. Crimson Warrior Lodge. We don't have a rival. We should have a rival. Let's declare rivalry here. 100%. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's just, it's just... So this is, you see, you see, an empire can have full approval of all pops. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Here we go. Okay. So we can now pick. Oh, truth seeker. Resources from psionic pops plus 10%. Research speed society, 25%. Research speed psionics, 50%. Chance for psionics options, 75%. But it's not that necessary. Maybe. Master bureaucrat, plus 75 edict fund, minus 10%. Empire size effect. So that just drops our empire size by 10%. Pretty good. Pretty good. Or great researcher plus 100 science. Just a flat 100 science. This, in essence, gives you um, this gives you a slightly worse tier one. Uh, what's it called? Tier one science nexus. It, it, well, no, it's 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 it's. It's 66% of tier 1 science nexus, so that's... There's three tiers to that, so it's... Divide by three. Um, so it's 22% of a science nexus for just one researcher. We could go Truth Seeker. We could go Truth Seeker. That would increase resources of psionic pops across the Empire, and we're going to have lots of psionic pops. But... And it does give us 25% society research speed, but... Um... I'm kind of actually thinking great... Re I, I'm kind of thinking great researcher. I am kind of thinking great researcher. So the choices are truth seeker or the other two. Yes, that is that is entirely accurate. I don't think I don't think it is debatable. I think we want the 100 science. It's equivalent to like. It's yeah. It's just one. It, yeah. It doesn't scale. Where is the vote, right? Let's have a vote then. Let's have a vote. Let's have a vote. What is the destiny of our greatest researcher ever? Hmm? Are they a truth seeker? Or instead, are they a great researcher? Or maybe they're the other one. And the Empire size bonus is nice, but not, not right now. They are DJ, says Vadmi. Sorry, how are they DJ? 
Are they part of DJ's family? Can you show us again? Yeah, so Master Bureaucrat. That is minus 10% leader upkeep, which is, I think, quite good. That's going to buff... That's going to give us, like... Because we're already at minus 30 or 40% leader upkeep. That's, in essence, going to give us another 10 unity. Um, but it's not amazing, but it's nice. Also, minus 10% empire size effects. We just get 10% reduction. We're already at minus 6. We'll go up to minus 16% then, which is also good. So we'll get fast attacks. Um, DJ Truth Seeker. No, DJ Truth Sayer. I guess it is DJ. I suppose DJ Truth Seeker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good point. At the moment, Truth Seeker's winning. I, I think... <laughs> David says, I expect everyone to remember gifted memberships and vote for the great researcher. David's trying to buy you out, and it seems very reasonable. Maybe you should vote for, for what he's saying. Um, I have a minus... I have a 10% from... I have minus 10 from Sonic Theory also. Huh? What? What do you mean? What are you saying? What's going on? Oh my goodness, we're stacking so many leader buffs here. I have a talent too. I have a talent. Grand storyteller, politician, interstellar recruitment office, transcendent learning, specialist training, from buildings, from campaigners, right? I think, should we go with Truth Seeker then, shall we? I think, I think, I think we kind of have to. David always tells me what to vote for after I vote. Yeah, that's a good point. Right, we've only, we've had 256 votes. We've got 860 people watching. Please, for the love of everything you hold dear, select an option. I'm not going to choose one until we're at least 300 votes. And we're only at 263. So the stream will not move forwards until you people have voted how we're going to move the stream forwards. That's it. I've said it. I'm putting my foot down. 274. We're getting there. We're getting there. David says, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. You people. Yeah, you people. I mean, you are human people, right? I don't, I don't have a chat full of bots. Oh, 328. There we are. True Seeker, 54%. It's not even a contest, actually. The other two combined don't have as many votes as Truth Seeker, so right, we'll end the poll there. We can we'll name him DJ Truth Seeker. I guess we have to, don't we? Let's check out what the vault's done. So, Vault of Knowledge now. Nothing's happened. Oh no, the unity's gone up. It's gone from five to ten unity that's wild folks um did we do something wrong vault of knowledge produces unity and increases leader experience gain based on destiny traits acquired well, we have one leader experience gain hasn't gone up oh Sorry. Wait, no, is that just... Does everyone have planetary... Uh, all of them have planetary... Con, planetary con, uh, standard construction templates, STCs. I think we already did let a month pass. Let's let a, let a month pass. That's at least two months now. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's meant to do more than this, but we're just getting 10 unity. That seems underwhelming. The Grand Storyteller. Do we make them a protector, an invader, or a marshal? I'm actually going to go down the invader route, I think. Or should we go marshal? Hover over the base, see if it says anything. What base? What? Yeah, the 2% was there before we got the trait. Um... Yeah, Vault of... So, basically, the Civic means that as we level up, as we get Destiny traits, the Vault of Knowledge should get better, and it doesn't really seem to have gotten better. Uh, Admirals are now recruited at level 4. Oh, they already come having pre-chosen these traits? Oh, that's not so great. So, actually, a whole bunch of them we probably just don't even want. But anyway, I think I'm going to go with... Marshall. Or Invader. We can get some nice vet bonuses from Invader. Um, let's go with Counselor Traits. She's on the Council, but we do not grant her the rank of Master.
I don't have anyone better, do I? No, unfortunately not. Oh, expertise statecraft. That's nice. I can check the XP gain. Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure it's just the 2%. From buildings plus 2%. That's entirely underwhelming. I'm getting more experience from having taken Champions of the Empire and having a single scientist. So that's disappointing to say the least. Can I recruit the Dahesh leaders? Let's just check that. I want to see that, actually. Oh, I can. So I can get both the both the guest out type of leaders. Does that mean I could make one of them my emperor? Or something? Like, could I have a guest out consciousness as my emperor? Does that mean a piece of the guest out consciousness would run my empire? Some interesting RP implications there. You want a God Emperor robot? Yeah, that, I mean, could could, could it be possible? I, okay, she can go back and assist research. Let's see. How's this guy doing? Is he still investigating things? Yes, he is. Good, good, good. Did I build... Oh, it does, does it not automate the... The Kajiga? Huh. Alright, it doesn't. Well, fair enough. We've got another... Oh, okay, so the Crown Prince can now get stuff. Alrighty, what do we want to do? Oh, I guess architectural sense might be nice. Yeah, we'll go with architectural sense, I suppose. Gray is treated as a bio, even though they aren't. Yes, I suppose. Aha. So, Exocades' 10th year. He's now beginning to advance more. He's getting more advanced studies. Remind him of the strength is power. Instruct him to obey or guide his faith. I think strength is power, well, but, but let's ask. I'll have a little poll. A little poll. Strength, obey, or faith? Citizen Republic of Mandasira Prime don't like me one little bit. But I am the most powerful one in the community, so I think I'll be fine. Yeah, we're all right. Good, we did the Cybrex Kajiga. Right, let's put down. Oh, it paused, that's the problem. I'm seeing strength 53%. I, I, I think that's the right one. My obey feels like a wasted vote. Sorry, Michael. Sorry. Instruct him that strength is power. Let's end the poll there, I suppose. Ooh, another governor can go up again. Where, where is this governor? They're on a research world. Mechanical pop assembly plus 15%. That's quite nice. Forge focus. Ooh. Only one focus can be selected. So we've already got a forge focus. So I guess I'm going to go with... 
assembler. On a planet which doesn't have... Well, let's, uh, well, let's do... Let's put a, yeah, let's put one of those down. Let's not be stupid. Mining and... I guess we'll have some mining here. Oh, my lord. It's diabolical. All these criminals... Oh, and there's even more crime. Why? Why dost thou hateth me? We're at year 47. Do I... Is it you ready yet? Where? When is it? Uh, it's in June. Okay, I'll wait till June. Ooh, Psycor or... Yeah, let's get Psycor. Does Cycle still produce Unity? I'm 99% sure it does. Oh, <laughs> do we put them out of their misery or bring them to the surface to serve? Let's bring them to the surface to serve, I suppose. Extremely adaptive. Tropical preference. Nice. That's very nice. Cycle is your friend. Trust Cycle. Amen, ladies and gentlemen. In Psychor, we trust. Let us expand the council yet further. Oh. There were some bad clicks there. Um, right. Mineral purification. Who's the who's the holding by? It's the Habs. I need to get rid of these guys. These guys are really ticking me off. Scum and villainy. Oh, on Earth. But I've got. This is entirely intolerable. Oh. I should put a cycle down. Crime reduction is not as much. We'll put it down anyway. Strange readings come from the planet's moon of the world. Yeah, okay. Wait, some of them haven't become psionic. Set rights. I can't assimilate them yet. I need to go further down the sonic path, don't I? Yes. Alrighty, that's fine. Doesn't Psycho function to reduce kind better than forces? Not anymore. Not anymore, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm, I'm annoyed with these criminals. This is just the devil. This is the absolute devil. It's all alright. It's all alright. It's all alright. Right, let's... um. We'll claim a few bits and pieces because they have been annoying. Claim a few bits, please, then we'll bring the forces up to the front in just a moment after they're done upgrading.
Cyber closing outpost is good. Oh, yes. That's going to go really fast. 114%. Oh, we need to rename this fellow. DJ Truth Seeker. Hey, look at how many traits he's got. This is just balmy. He's not even level 10 yet. Oh my lord. Regular 3 facilitation has gone through the parliament. That's excellent. Make more consumer goods here as well, I suppose. Uh, ba ba ba. Consumer goods. There we go. Oh, there's crime on this world as well. I'm. This is annoying. This is very annoying. Any of my research is just not doing anything? Probably not. Let's uh, hyper relay. I need the cycle. I've got. I'm getting cycles. I've got. There's a cycle on Earth, and it's just it, the cycle actually reduces crime less than my uh, my enforcers at the moment. Well, generally, actually, and, and right now. Choose some things in the Galactic Senate. That all looks good. 20% weight from economy. No, I don't really want that. Everything's basically been proposed, hasn't it? All right. What's chat saying? Do you think a terraforming rework would be interesting? As of now, it's just a process we start and forget about until it finishes. Maybe something that made the process a bit more involved. Um... No, I mean, I think there are other areas of the game that need more work than terraforming, uh, to be honest. I cannot lie. Oh, it jumped in and out very quickly there. Ah! So this, I haven't actually made a video on this yet. This is the easiest way to conquer a, a pre-FTL. I'm about to get, so, they just reached the space age. They're gonna fly off into space because I was flying around there. And so now all I have to do is say, no, I'm not gonna give you the star base. And then at the end of the month, because they're in a system where they don't own the star base, well, you'll see in a moment. Here we go. Oh, look. We got full control of Tiege 1 and the Zaplo Empire fell. And they might be low happiness, but that's they don't have the they don't have any of the modifiers here. There's no modification related issues. Let me see. Human should probably go. I could send some this way. Alright, we got yeah, we got is this a criminal branch officer? Already! Already they put one down. Are we, are we ready for the war? Because if we're not ready for the war, then I'm going to eat my hat. Yeah, we are ready for the war. Okay, let's do this thing. Um, let's see. I don't want to make them a tributary. I just want to expel corporations. All batteries fire! 1v1. We can do it. We can do it. Darth Ragnarok says, I'm now stuck in a state of pure torture. I want nothing more than to play, but also need to wait for tomorrow. This will do for now. I apologize. Yeah, that's, uh, that is the state of affairs. We're going straight down for planet four. Let me see. Iota, how many armies? Oh, basically nothing. Nothing. 
and they're flying it. They couldn't. They couldn't stand up for even a moment. Ridiculous. That looks good. That looks good. I'm actually going to replace. Let's get a hollow theater on there. Right, we've taken this system to the capital, I suppose. Oh, I clicked the wrong off. Oh, well. The Emperor's leveled up. Wait, what? What's this? The Vivisandian Citizen Commonwealth. Did they just declare independence? Did they break free? Oh. No, they're a vassal of somebody. Citizen Republic of Mandrasura. Interesting. Okay. Oh, great. So, our leader now can get Military Pioneer. I'm going to say yes to that one. Why am I saying yes? Because that further buffs uh, further buffs our cost reduction when we're building ships. So, let's go back over to our, our shipbuilding shipyard. What are we at now? 15, 20, 30, 40% reduction. And it can go higher. Hi Montu, how have you been enjoying Paragon so far? Is there another DLC it compares to quite well in terms of gameplay impact? Um, uh, so, as I've mentioned before, I really feel that this DLC impacts a lot of systems, which is which is good, good. Uh, don't get me wrong, that's that's really good. But um, I have to use the the off-world humans, don't I? It impacts a lot of systems, but there's less there's less overall content uh, like there's only one origin there are quite a few civics absolutely and some of those civics i have to say some of the civics are some of the best civics we've ever got oppressive autocracy crusader spirit is amazing from an rp perspective and from a gameplay perspective it's really interesting um it's a different play style that it's pushing for oppressive autocracy is amazing from an rp perspective interesting from a from a mechanical perspective and then Heroic Past as well is quite an interesting one. I like that one. Vaults of Knowledge seems to be a bit broken. I'm not sure if it's just not working, but our vault is not upgrading. Um, or if it is, we're getting an extra five unity, which is like, wow. Wow, you know? Um, but leaders are now really important and really useful. And I can't, I can't stress that enough. Uh... Leaders are just really good now. Um, and uh, as you're seeing, I mean, I'm getting crazy bonuses here from my leaders. I'm getting 70... I'm at, it's at year 50, and I'm currently at 74% or 69%. Well, these are 74% physics, 69 society. I don't have any research agreements or anything. Only 44 in the in, in engineering, sure. But, I mean, I could buff that higher soon when I open up another council position. The council is... The balance is interesting. It's uh, it's very fun, but but uh, it's not the most balanced thing you'll ever come across. Let's put it that way. Do I have a researcher nearby? What are you doing down there? Right, activate the cloak and then come home. Alright, mining station output looks good. This is good. We've successfully invaded that world. We lost a lot of troops during that invasion, though. Crikey. I think I'll also bring you up. You should stop assisting research and start doing the special projects. Yes. Fully awakened Sonic. That's the way we do it. Oh yeah. 
Hyper relay there. And then if I just continue with that a little bit longer, I suppose I can go here. He oh, here. Here and here. Where's and then let's just go all the way to the capital. Do I have enough resources for that? No, absolutely not. But I can buy more. Oh, it's charging me up front for them. That's good. That's cool. Oh, you wanna you wanna come retake your capital, do you? That's cute. Oh no, they're gonna do it. Oh no, they're gonna do it. Go back. Fight them again. Yeah, go on, annihilate them. Thank you. Invade again. Oh, we won. We won! Victory! And we received a thousand energy credits for every branch of us closed. Bye bye, crime. It's been nice knowing you. That's what you get. We also, we didn't take their capital world, but that's fine. We didn't need to. Now I'm going to downgrade this one. Let's see, how many planets have we got now? Four. Kral. Oh, that's a lot. What kind of worlds are they? Savannah, Arid? Ooh. Quite a few bits and pieces in that to unpack. Right, let's do a little bit of econ management. I sense some economic problems maybe are, maybe are coming. Uh, huh. David says it's not crime, it's opportunistic franchising. No, it's crime. This is this is crime. It's evil and repugnant and wrong, and we, I shan't be standing for it. Hence why I'm sat at my computer. Right, we'll swap you over to an industrial district then, I suppose. Yeah. Guess what I could really do with oh, the manifesti? Go away! Wish I could just remove that event from the game. I really would like to get droid technology at some point here. That would be very much useful. Yes. How are we doing on, let's take a look. Let's take a look at contacts, agreements. Um, hmm. I feel like a renegotiation of this one might be in order. How much would 30% science be? A hundred science. I mean, we're making a thousand now. I wouldn't mind turning them into a prospectorium. They'd also say yes. I could even push it up. I could really push it up. This would be somewhat nasty, wouldn't it? Um, let's do this. Yes. Because they're a hive mind, they do not mind my garrison whatsoever. No pun intended. What is that? Oh, just crystals. Just crystals. Not to worry. I just sent the wrong one then, didn't I? Oops. One million years dungeon! The situation on bug, that's annoying. Oop, we're running out of food. Um, oh, let's just build some food districts, I suppose, in some of these worlds. Uh, 
this is looking good otherwise though. See a couple of temples couldn't hurt. And we've got that, we've got that now. So let's throw down on their capital. Just just they really understand we mean business, we'll throw down the garrison. I guess I'll recruit a couple of armies as well to to fly in it. Um three of those, yes, thank you. Manifesti are easy to get rid of. They are, yeah. Does anything good happen? No. No. Uh, unless you can get them, get the faction to actually support you, which is nigh on impossible. They're just annoying. Are they still a subsidiary? That's bizarre. Right, I'll declare rivalry to those guys. Because I can. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Do I have a planet somewhere? Meneth, you look good. Right, you're gonna get. Uh, you're gonna become a fortress world. I'm massively over my star base cap as well. That that is hurting us as well. Yes. Ouch. Substance abuse on source. No, don't do this to me. But I got rid of the crime. You were meant to love me afterwards. Ugh. I shake my fist at thee. Let's see. Um, I guess I can put down a hollow theater. And another one. All right, we've got leaders with traits. Oh, they all got psychic. So psychic does different things, of course. Army, morale, army damage for generals. For admirals, you're going to be getting 10% ships, weapon damage, 10% hardening, same as ever. Governors, 10% unity. Scientists, uh... Wait, what? Wait, what? The psychic trait on scientists just gives you research now? Stop everything? Wait, what? So we're just getting... From our leaders, we're getting basically a hundred science? Oh yeah, so they buff psionic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. They have buff psionic. What? Why is David... Why is David not psionic, though? That's something I'm annoyed about. This is a bug. So we've uplifted the species, but David is not psionic. Huh. Well, isn't that wizard? David's one of the cool kids. No, there's no trait limit. No, 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 no. He's just not psionic. Anyway, we're trying to... Uh, Ting Zhen needs to go up again. Let's give them another level of forge focus I suppose so that's 20% alloys to jobs now on our very lovely capital here it's pretty good pretty good All right, they're on the way, good. You should go over and land on here, please. Oh, the Kettling's arrived. Yay, ish. I left them open, because I wanted this to happen, and now it has. Oh, I, I, I grabbed one, that was my bad. Um, but let's bring, let's bring you in to do an undercover research project, sir. Huh? Why are they... Okay, well, we'll deal with the raid.
We'll deal with that raider slime ourselves. Right, uh, special project to breach into the shroud. Let's do it. Oh, we didn't. We didn't bring a construction ship to do that. Ooh, that's silly. Should have. Should have brought someone on board that. That was silly. Wait. Now they're back again. All oh, right. Well, that's it. This time, this time we're going to put them into the dirt. How many planets do they have? One. They've chosen the wrong person to annoy. They're being protected by the Vivisandian Commonwealth. Are you kidding me, Vivisandians? Are you stupid? And our fleets are trapped here. Oh, this is just very annoying. Right. Um, what do we declare war on these folks? We can't. What do we declare war on them? Will the vassal come in too? They will. Good. Right. So let's also claim some other stuff then. We'll grab that. We'll grab that. Yeah, that was my bad. We lost. We lost the lost adrift. I apologize. We still have crime. Right, let's bring two more enforcers in, I suppose. Oh, it's the new branch office, that's why. Yerp. Eek Babadook. Faster again. Come on, come on, come on. Build speed is good. End of the Olympia. Well, I guess you'll never see the Olympia in today's stream. It's a shame for some. United Jackley Union. Interesting. Right. Um... Economically now, though, we're doing all right. How many consumer goods are we making on Earth? That's an important question that I want the answer for. We're making 56. I uh, can't really swap it over yet. We finally got, finally got the right amount on this planet as well. I don't know why it's taking so long to populate this place. Oh, the raiding fleet's here. That's a problem. Is it though, actually? Or if they go to raiding stance, then it absolutely is. And you can pause there to see what the Kettlings were all about if you haven't seen them before. Marnius Augustus Calgar says, Is there something new and possibly interesting in this DLC for Criminal Heritage? No, they're just completely intolerable. And they deserve every wrath I have. Oh. Why can't I pull them up into... Are they not... Oh, they're probably servile. Oh. Oh, I see. Bring a Zaplo in. They'll do the trick. Right, we'll finish off Psionic, and then... 
Ooh, what do we take next? What do we take next? Oh, 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 oh. Katie sign of Vagros has arrived. It's time to plan his next steps. So he's been in our civilization for 20 years, growing up since being a baby. Hello, Katie. Standing tall, Katie observes his situation and his own responses to it. His gaze falls into his hands. They are remarkably steady. He has prepared for this day. I am ready. Oh, wait. oh, greetings. The young man nods and takes a breath. I have dreamed of this day. I have anticipated it for, a long, for as long as I can remember. I stand ready and willing to serve. He is a militarist ethic. He also has the eye for talent, nebulous past, which grants him plus 10 years leader lifespan, plus 25% si sublight speed, minus 50% time spent missing in action, and plus 25% archaeology excavation speed. And he's erudite. So erudite as well on your researchers gives them additional research every month. That's pretty nice, but not as much you'll notice as the scientists. I think it depends on your leader level, to be honest. Look at Enclave leaders. Yeah, we'll do that. And what do you find to seek? Well, he's going to seek some stuff, right? We're going to bring him in. You won't regret this. He, of course, has his own voice acting. Let's go to leaders. Um, Anyone wants to rename this leader? We can... And his big head. Look how big his head looks there. Wow, that's kind of bizarre. See. Um, anyone wants to rename him? Just uh, send me a super chat and I'm, I'm more than happy to be bought out. But at the moment, he stays as Kades until that point. He does look a lot like Megamind. He does look a lot like Megamind. That's a fair and accurate point. And now we begin the Relic Visions event chain. So there's four places we need to go to. Let's find those points of interest. After physical, physical contact, um, visions have appeared in his mind. So he touches the relic and he sees stuff. Sees lots of stuff. I thought it started to breach the shroud. Apparently it didn't. Right, let's, let's track where these are. Wait, really? Oh, it's just Cybrex. No, no, no. Oh no, the raid has hit the planet and some pops have died. Whatever will we do? And now they're gonna leave. Thank you. Alrighty, so... Over here's one. Don't really know how to get there. Maybe it's north, maybe it's south. Over here is another. I mean, that, that definitely looks like there's something going on here. Um, what? This is an interesting piece of wreckage. I don't think we've seen that. Name him Bob. Sir, yes, sir. He's, his leader name is Bob. Katie's sign of Argos. No, sorry. You're now the militarist Bob. Thank you very much for your support, Monster Molly. Right. Let's also grab physics research. And there's, there should be another one. Let's see. One, two. Is it really there? Clearly, this is where the ship graveyard is. Yeah. But it... Vicious wildlife. Oh! Oh, that's why I've got the vicious wildlife on the planet. This is the aggressive flora of stuff. Ah! Interesting. Very interesting. Let's just build another science ship, I suppose, quickly. Um, science ship away. He is Legion. He is Bob. All glory to Bob. Oh, we also need to pick another Ascension perk, chat. Somebody suggest some stuff. We could get, um, Arcology Project. We should probably get Arcology Project. How about Arcology Project? Have, have, have you, have you, have a moment, had a moment to consider our Lord and Savior Arcology Project? Mm -hmm. 
Any thoughts on that? I didn't get any Relic Wilt. No, I did not get a single Relic Wilt. That is a fair and accurate assessment. Yeah, let's get Arcology. Cybrex and Arcology couldn't be work couldn't be that bad, could it? We'll do some upgrading as well while we're here. What are you spending all this energy on anyway? Oh, monthly trades. Oh, we're buying the food. Stop buying the food. It could be a trap. Leave it be. It's a trap! Don't mind if I do with all the stacked modifiers. I'll just grab some more of these. Um, we do need more leader upkeep, though. I have a few too many leaders somewhat. Yes. Do I have the science ship yet? Yes, I do. Right. Excades, you should go on this science ship and then go do the Cyberx listing post and we'll see what else comes up in there. Hmm? Oh, the scum and villainy. I am sick and tired of the scum and villainy. I'm honestly... Super sick and tired of it. Oh, okay. Substan substantiated visions. Prepare for planetary exploration. Right, we're going to do the, the that project. Then we'll do the jungle one. Vivizandi and Commonwealth just declared secret fealty for us. I think we'd actually go for the Secret Filthy War over the other one. Let's let's do that then. One moment. Right. Now I'm going to go for... I think I'm going to go for Harmony, you know. Partly for that 20 years leader lifespan. Partly for the stability buff. Um, and the inner stability is quite nice for 20 stability empire wide. Could be okay, couldn't it? Need more humans. Darnable alien infiltrator nonsense. I didn't mean to sell a thousand. That was a bit silly, but uh, I'm going to continue as if I hadn't. Oops. <laughs> just solve the crime. Just solve them. Yeah, just get good, isn't it? It's just kind of a get good, isn't it? Um, right, so... Declare war. Ooh, first, I'm going to make some claims. I think that's good enough. Yeah. Oh, we got another leader level. Somebody's leveled up. You will take the, we'll take the Cyberx artifact off your hands. No worries. Right. Another trait pick here. Recruiter or from the ranks? Um, oh, neither of neither of those are really great, are they? Um, pff, army experience gain, army build speed. Oh, let's go with army experience gain, I suppose. Yeah. Ooh. But now, Kaisha has arrived. So this one is basically the ultimate infiltration spy master kind of Kajiga general. The other general, this is the other general. Uh, authoritarian ethic, interestingly. Eye for talent. Tyrannical, so put them as a council and you get minus 5% happiness. I'm not sure the 5% happiness is worth all of the extra bonuses to spying. Like, okay, maybe, you, yeah, you, I just don't think you can get enough out of the spying, honestly. My exotic gases aren't about to run out. Corner of the void, what are you saying? Oh, I promised I would I was promised I would have a look at the um sorry, I did promise I would have a look, so. That's not who I want to speak to. End communications. I don't 
actually have contact with any of the uh, enclaves. Any of the proper ones, anyway. So, whoa, can't really, can't really do that for anybody. Sorry. All right, let's do this thing. So I'm going to need this fleet to come up north. Ooh. I don't really want to recruit another leader yet, though. Maybe I fire one. Could I fire somebody? Would that be a valuable waste of my life? Uh, use of my time, even. <laughs> Freudian slip, Freudian slip, I apologize. a little bit more fleet power because they are equivalent to me right now and my fleets are totally divided so eesh we're going to try and turn Menethir here into a fortress and just not let them through Did I ever complete that hyper relay network? I did, good. Should probably do one to the north a little. Yeah. Oh, the jungle exploration is sorely taking a while. Only KDs can do it as well, only he can do his own things. I'm saying all your bases are to belong to us. Yes, yeah, exactly. And then I can also deal with the Adrian Monopoly at the same time, possibly. So the Sidan, these people are starting to get some fleets up, aren't they? Oof. I'm going to have to move quickly if my civilization is to survive. Right, let's switch you over to a forge capital. Reach into the shroud. Try to commune with the ineffable. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna get a, we're gonna get a deity. Which would be a good admiral, though. I, I think I'll recruit one more admiral. I can't believe they still kept both type of the trickster trait in the game. That one really confuses me. So there's two types of trick to, trickster trait. I, I don't. I don't know why. Let's get Martin Richardson. Level 4 Admiral. I mean, that does put me a little bit over again, but, you know, we'll just have to live with it. I should split off 40 fleet powers worth, right. You all become one fleet. Good. This is looking good, looking good. Two types of trickster to be extra tricky. Yeah, that's literally what's what's going on. It's um it's something else. Otherwise, we do look like we're doing all right. Okay, so. 
they're already at war with somebody that will tire them out a little bit and then off we should also have our fleets in roughly the right area to deal with them i'm thinking i should probably put i should put uh, somebody into espionage these people shouldn't i that would have been a good idea oh ghost oh, i clicked the first but i clicked the button damn it damn it Vegetation peeled back, giving way to a green vista. A beautiful tamed world with animal enclosures the, the size of large forests containing species from all over the galaxy. Sudden the vision jo jolted Cades into a room inside a larger building. One wall depicted a map of several star systems. Four stood out clearly from the rest, unconnected by hyperlanes. Unconnected. Back aboard the ship, Katie set the newest piece of the relic alongside the existing ones. Humming and visibly drawing towards one another, they fused. The relic appears strengthened. Excellent news. Our relic is getting bigger. And more powerful. And Katie's just got to level up. Right, let's make him... Eye for talent too, I guess. Just so it don't, we don't have to keep leveling it up. Can I not? I don't. I don't have fortress technology. I don't have fortress. Oh, they died. The Sidra multiplex overtook them, which solves my branch office problem. Mwah, I could kiss you, Sidra, Sidrans. Proposed subjugation. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Um. Right, what what could we attempt to give them, I wonder? They could have some sensors. Oh, they'd like that, yes. Uh, what if I asked for some resources? No, they wouldn't like that so much. But what if I gave them a little bit of science? They'd like that quite a bit, yeah, yeah. And I'll permit their expansion. They're welcome. I'll take even more resources for that. I'll take, no, I won't take too many then. Okay, okay. Good. Welcome aboard the Human Empire, Cybrex Multiplex. We haven't actually had the event. The, the, the thing on Halito didn't actually trigger. So I don't know. So no. Well, that, that's been a good buff. To the, oh, wow. Oh, all of our problems are done. Well, I mean, now, we, now we've got the economy for it. Let's just charge into battle. Why shouldn't we? Not vile alien machine con... Did they, oh, they just killed... These folks just killed the um, the criminals that have branch offices every, but everywhere. Did somebody say war? Yes, somebody did just say war. I said war. We're going to war. We're going to war very soon and very fast. Okay, we're going to do it in a moment. Uh, yeah, let's move up to the front then. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to have two fleets, really. Yeah. And if it turns out they've got... they, I just hope they don't get the drop on us, basically. Their fleet forces... Their strength is going up as well. That's kind of scary. Let's, uh, let's give it a go. All right, we're at war. We are at war, ladies and gentlemen.
Oh, they keep establishing branch offices. I hate criminals. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. They suck so bad. Economically, we're doing great though. This is this is wonderful. Xeno Aid Agency. Did I ever bother turning those people into a prospectorium or did I leave it? Yes, they are. Okay. Oh, absolutely. 250 alloys for that. Brilliant. Okay, so holdings. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I'm thinking Ministry of Extraction for the alloys, maybe? I mean, I don't really need them. I prefer a Ministry... Oh, I can put Ministry of Science on the Scalarium, can't I? So, Ministry of Truth here, I think. Let's pop back to the Scalarium. And actually, I should probably update this. To be the Ministry of Science. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to steal their science. We were doing aid, now we do science. Science better. Wait, how do we get into... Is it, oh, I think it's probably up across there. I've also got good savings for all my rare resources, so I think I can almost certainly just turn on all my edicts now and forget about them. Yeah. That should just make everything more powerful. Ah, we can expand the council. Excellent. Let's bring it. Let's bring on someone in. So, High Admiral or a Keeper of the Vaults. Ooh, let's take a look at our leaders first. So, what do we have? That, who, who do we have that could go on the council? and be useful. So either an Admiral could be this fellow more sublight speed or a Scientist. I mean Exocades is going to level up quite a bit. Yeah, I think I think we'll go with Keeper of the Vaults. And we'll throw Exocades in there. This will also help him get more level experience. And let's pick an agenda. Ooh, do do do. Um, leadership conditioning it is. Have you noticed now how there are four stars here? Has anyone seen that? Sorry, not X case. I mean Lord Admiral Bob, I apologize. Why are you not going to? Okay, we've got some ship movement up to the north. That could be a problem. Do we form a covenant with the Eater of Worlds, ladies and gentlemen? Um, oh my lord. Is that is that who we say yes to? Do we let do we let corn into our heart? Blood for the blood god. Sorry, Ragoon, why do I have dragon balls? I heard the Hexarchy was better, was better, Montu. Ah. I'm thinking skulls for the skull throne, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I think it's time. I think I time, I time I went and opened one little beer. You know? Blood for the blood god. I'm, I'm seeing a 67% yes. That's a super majority, ladies and gentlemen. It's also going to give us extra fire rate, extra army damage. Oh, when we're at war, we just need to keep staying at war and not peace out unless we really need to. Right, I'm going to leave this up for just a moment. Um, I'm going to go and grab that beer. No one's paying me to do it this time. I'm going to do it out of my own volition. And I'll be right back while you people vote. I mean, until we get to 300 votes, I'm, we're not moving forward to the stream either. We're at 189 right now, so you've probably got a little bit of time. And don't riot while I'm away.
Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. How many votes have we got? 295, but we're still waiting on at least a couple more votes. Ah, excellent. Now it's 21.17 and it's still going. Yeah, I said I'd do about four hours, but I'm still around, so there's, there's that. 310, all right, we're, 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 we're joining with corn. 1,192 likes. Yeah, this is wild. Stream first, ladies and gentlemen. Form a covenant with the Eater of Worlds. Let's hope there's no issues. Right, let's see what this does. So, there will be a price to pay. Nah, it'll be fine. Be fine. What's, 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 what's happens? It's just the Eater of Worlds. Sixty-nine percent for corn. Yeah, were you sure you didn't want to go for um, uh, what's it called, uh, Slanesh, the instrument of desire? Because you guys voted sixty-nine percent for something that I have a feeling possibly there might be other preferences on a sixty-nine vote. Embark all armies here. Bring them up. Prepare full attack. Starbase cap plus. Oh, I still haven't got fleet logistics. What is happening? What a strange game. All right, there's their main fleets. I think we might actually be able to meet up. I think we can get our two fleets to meet up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So actually, we can get our fleets to meet up, and then there, there, there's no issue. There'll be no con contest. Okay, okay, okay. And which oh, they go? They're pushing the attack against the um, the people we want who to have die. So actually, if anything, this is all just coming going along swimmingly. And another trade for somebody, Paul Lavoy. Let's just see where he is. Uh, assisting research. Is that assisting research? Oh, excavating archaeological site. Ah. Um. Ooh. And what do we we pick? The keeper of the vaults. So maybe, actually, we might prefer to have the researcher. Just in case, just in case, right? They're pushing that way. I don't think we actually need to worry about them. Oh, let's catch some of their fleets with their pants down. Wait, what? Is this even my... Oh, it's not even my issue. No, it's not my problem. We caught them and now they will die. Blood for the blood god. In the name of corn. And now they're inferior to us. How are we doing with this war? Uh, we need to get... Zosma and Zreniax. Where are they? Confirm the covenant. Renounce. I think we'll confirm. Blood for the blood god, ladies and gentlemen. Minus 10 crime. Don't mind if I do diddly oo. And there's, there's droids. I've been missing droids for quite a while. Right, all of our forces have now converged. I'm going to bring this minor fleet down just to deal with some mop up. There's fortresses. Good. We've taken that world. Excellent. Excellent. Let's 
Zosma. I'll just search it. Where the heck is Zosma? Oh! One of the first places we took. I see. Well, I guess we'll just go deal with it. Oh, we can't fly in through those borders. Oh, that's super annoying. Right, come back around. Turn the fleet around. Oh, no. Paul Lavoie just got maimed. So that's one thing. When things like this happen now, it's actually, like, it's very un uh, unpleasant. Um, Paul Lavoie has now been maimed. His average lifespan is... 90. Ooh, okay. Bad. Bad. No, I didn't take... No, but now it's open so we can come back for it. I don't even have a claim on it. It's it's the, the other people. Quickly, quickly. No dilly-dallying, if you please. Prospectorium is now level 2. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we'll take gene clinics. If I go to my contact, am I getting the bonuses for the hyper relay thing? <gasps> let's see. Let's see now. Okay, let's see if we can get the lead, rec recruit external leaders. This is going to be wild. All right, so. They don't have the trait. Why don't they have the trait? Do I have to trade with them? But I can't trade leaders because they're a... Huh. Weird. So they allegedly have the trait, but then apparently they don't have the traits. You, you did miss a lot. We we now we now pledged ourselves to the blood god. Blood for the blood god, or we'll kill you. It'll be bloody. Oh no! Don't lose it to them. That'll be so annoying. At least it's only a minor claim system thing. Oh good. Oh good. Now we can fight it ourselves. Good riddance to that branch office. Engage. We win. Ah, but now, now, now that we're not at war. Let's just. Let's just dive into this route quickly. Linger for a while. Get 20% sublight speed. Ugh, minus 20% sublight. That's just painful. I haven't even had a sip of my beer yet. I've been too busy playing. Um. Ah, delicious. Right, Galactic Market's established. That's good. Let's bring the fleets home. I haven't bothered to take these bar- I mean, look at the resources. What's the point? What would be the point, I ask? So, now I will go to my... It's hard. I wish Edicts was still somewhere on here. It's so hard to find it. It's honestly, I, I struggle. With Edicts, I'm always like, wait, where is it? What, where is it? that upgrade you 
We should get rid of that wildlife thing, actually. It's annoying. Oh, Exocades, where are you? Uh, sorry, Bob. Come on, Bob. You need to go somewhere. You need to go down here to Deneb. Oh, wait. Is that in the Fallen Empire? No, it's not in the Fallen Empire. I, I thought it was in the Fallen Empire space. I was about to lose my little mind. Can't get there. Can't get there. Can I get here? Yes. Yes. Um, let's try moving to there. 1,700 days. Oh. Well, that's something. That is something. <laughs> Montu versus the universe is crime league. That's basically all we're doing today, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we'll f blasphemers will burn, heretics. Blood for the blood god. Uh, which one is this? I think this one is one that should be assisting research. Yes, so you should go back now and assist the research on Evelyn, the greatest of our research worlds. Uh, I should make some claims somewhere. That, that, that'll do. Isn't there another fleet somewhere? I don't recall. We'll build our interspace highway, Kajiga. Order restored on Earth, excellent. We've done the rails thing, excellent. Otherwise, yeah, it's all looking good. We're looking good. Let me see. If we, are we actually getting Curse of the Shroud, Covenant... E oh, I don't think we're getting any negatives from the Eater of Worlds. Are we not? But we're not at war. Huh. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Five stability gone. Alrighty, so how are we doing otherwise? More we'll leader lifespan, I'll take it. More cruisers. Yes, this is looking good. Um, where's the slave building? I want the slave building. There it is. All right, let's pop these. Re we sh I should put some of these down just so the slaves move around properly. Because without it, they just kind of stay where they are and they're useless. Right. Uh, slave processing facility. Slave processing facility. The implants in their head are not bad for them. I promise they'll be fine. Check ship and army upkeep. Should be plus 100% out of the war. Um, but... I, there, are, you, you can't actually see. I, mean, I don't know if this is correct. One thirty-eight seems reasonable. It doesn't seem like a particularly large amount. The Corvettes here, they're at one point three. Oh, that's cruisers. Sorry, the Corvettes are at point six four. This seems pretty reasonable. We should be on the council because we're the greatest power in the universe. Thank you very much, game. Mm -hmm. 
what is the, what are we even, what are our subject terms? Uh, we got a new subject, I don't even know what the agreement is. They're a protectorate, right, right, interesting. We're getting 180 science just from one Ministry of Science, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Plants and sector, uh, expansion planner. I want to see the largest size world, size. All right, can't do that one, can't do that one, can do this one. You, no, 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 uh, continental world. Oh, misclick there, that was a bit silly for a moment. Size 10, don't care, 12, don't care, 14, I don't really care. Is that all of them? Oh, that's all of them. All right. There's a what? There's a 15% chance every 15 years that Eater kills your highest level leader. I've forgotten about that. Yeah, no, I've forgotten about that. Um, that, no. We don't want DJ to die. That wouldn't be fair, would it? That wouldn't be fair at all. I mean, he's almost at level 9. We're almost going to get him to... We're going to get him to level 10 soon. They can't do that. <laughs> we've been... We've been... We've been the, the best. We've done everything the Eater could have possibly wanted. Just give DJ a little nibble. I mean, <laughs> that could work. That could work. You know, I should probably remember to actually put down orbital rings. That that would help. I always forget about orbital rings. Always, without fail. Not saying I'm stupid, but I do forget a lot about. I forget that they exist in a lot of games. Oh, okay, we activated the machine. Something happened. Right, well, guess we'll make these guys into a subject. Yeah, we'll just upgrade everything first. So leader enhancement, I think now, is ridiculously expensive. Plus 50% leader cost is equivalent to going over your leader cap by like, well, 50%. It, why would you, why would you ever take this? You know, I, it doesn't make sense. That needs to be rebalanced, honestly. That, that's vestigial, in my own opinion. Right, what can we do? Get more Archie Prospector, Insightful. Oh, I think we'll grow Insightful 3. Oh, no, it normally no, it doesn't really help us, actually, does it? Nah, it's no, no point in that. Prospector, maybe? Oh, finishing a special project. Well, that's what we want. That'll do. That'll do nicely, Donkey. Didn't I? 
Didn't I do droids? I have a distinct memory of researching droids. Yeah, I have droids. Why won't you move up? Do I have to upgrade them? What's going on here? Has something changed? My my droids are just doing that. Well, they won't go up to be droids. This is... Well, some of them are. There we go. There's some. But these three are just saying no. All right. Um, Let's go to that Arctic world. I'll swap you over. And I'll get back uh, three Zaplo, I suppose. Oil for the oil god. How are we doing with... Oh, did I just get turned away? It didn't make me go FTL, did it? Oh, no, it's... Where is the SS Magellan? Come on. Where's Bob's ship? Oh, you're kidding me. It's been it sent him all the way back home. But it hasn't given me the running away thing. Oh, it says it here. Oh, that's annoying. Wow, I completed him limbo. That was a great time compl to complete it. Wow. At least he went up a level trait, I suppose. <laughs> As a counselor, he gets 10% count. Yeah, we'll have that. Thank you. That should make all my factions happier as well. 100%, 100%, 85. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Everyone's just so happy. Border Gore, what Border Gore? There's, there's the Red Empire there. It's fine. Don't even... Don't worry about it. It's fine. I see no issues. Aha! Another leader has turned up. Baron Victor Jadadin. So this one, I'm... This one I'm kind of not sure about. I mean, basically, unless it's got counselor traits, I generally think it's a lot weaker because the counselor traits work on everyone. So, nav navcap, if you're a counselor, then fleet command limit plus 50%, which is pretty cool. Armada command is pretty cool. Plus 10% ship fire rate and minus 15% sublight speed. Sublight speed's nasty. The fire rate's nice. The ship com fleet command's kind of all right. And then melancholic, so he's going to die faster. Um, I don't think we've got we've got the time for that one, though. No. Right, let's just bring everyone up to the border as soon as we can, I suppose. Uh... Well, we've got daily hull regen. I guess we don't need to do anything else. We don't need to do upgrading now. We're doing daily hull regening. Do we, we should probably upgrade a bit. Let's see, what's left to upgrade? Um, these ones. What are we upgrading into? Ah, oh, level 5 laser. Well, that's just much better. But we need to go to war. So that's what we're going to do. One more month till battleships. Good. Orbital rings around both Earths at the same time. We like it so much, we're definitely going to put a ring on it. 100%. Uh, yeah, that.
Particle lances, that's going to help. You and you go away and then you merge. Excellent. Did I even check what these have? I know it's this place, this is what I want to look at. Oh, there's humans there. Oh, I probably displaced some people. Oh! Hello, Zirans. You're very beautiful. There's an interesting white head you've got there. Double the earth, double the soul, Mr. Clean. Exactly. What my starting choice is, I started with Heroic Pass Distinguished Admiralty. That's a really nice combination. Really powerful. Um, for, leader, for leaders, at least. For leaders, it's very powerful. You get, you get a lot of buffs from it. This is a tomb world. I mean, uh, I guess robot assembly plants and then a bunch of other things like that. You can just sit there actually for a little while. Fleety McFleet face. Where's my, oh my army's up there. Well come, come back over here please. I think, how do you destroy planets? You need to take, uh, you need to get a planet cracker. So you need to take the, uh, a, a certain ascension perk. The ascension perk in question is, oh shut up frog people. The ascension perk in question is Colossus Project. That's what you need to take. I guess I'm just going to vassalize them because they don't seem to Oh, we had some fleets in, sp in their space. Oh, well. All right, yeah, we'll push this way. 38k can go up there. The others can go that way. That looks good. We'll bring the armies straight to the frontier. For the blood god! They're not war crimes, unless they're from the criminal region of France. Otherwise, they're just sparkling mistakes. Ooh. Um. Get Gale Speed. Let's turn on all those edicts again. Right. Focusing crystals, armor. Oh, no, no, no. Armor. There we are. Good. Another Cybrex artifact recovered. How close are we now? Four or six. That's that's something. Yeah, we're in range of their capital almost immediately. That's uh, bad for them, I suppose. But good for us. Very good for us. I think I'm going to go with Enigmatic Engineering to buff my cloaking strength. Yeah. No. Defender of the Galaxy, just so everyone loves me. Plus, the crisis should be coming in a moment. Or oh, we could build Sanctums. What does the Sanctum of the, eater, of the, the Eatery Sanctum... What does it do? What does the Sanctum do? Let's have a look. So, Empire-wide, 10% weapons range, minus 10% ship upkeep, which is nice. And then three telepaths. Alright, it's alright.
Do, do, do. Fleet command limit plus 35. Oh, yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, you can have some embassies. Fine, I don't care. Go, yeah, go away, go away, go away. Go away! Only my main species transformed into psionic. Yes, only my main species transformed into psionic. That's entirely correct. Yeah. I don't know why I don't have that yet. Yeah, we'll bombard the heck out of that planet. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Grab that. How close are we? What? Uh, we need a couple more worlds. Right, gotcha. So some of the beta humans went psionic, some didn't. And I guess we'll just set the rest to assimilation. We also want the latent sonics to become full sonic, so I guess we'll set them to assimilation as well. Yeah. Weird that we've got a couple. Very strange. Are we about to force surrender yet? No, not yet. Uh, make the bombardment heavier. Leave none alive. Two arcology product projects well on the way, which is excellent. Seems to be going well, roughly. Ah, good, they surrendered. No army intervention required. We must be close to forcing the other surrender. Wait, the Sidra multiplex. Are at war with who? What? I'm confused by that, but no worries. No worries. Well, I've almost been going for five hours now. Actually, I might have to stop in a moment because I've got I've got more projects that need to be finished before tomorrow. I've got videos that need to be done. So I think we're going to stop in the next five minutes, actually. Um, it's been a great fun five hours, uh, but I think that's going to have to be enough. Enough of uh, enough of me and enough of our great council here. We, oh, we're almost there at the next level. Only a few thousand. What well, leadership conditioning? We'll fire off leadership conditioning, get us to level nine, and then maybe we'll finish up. That hopefully will just be a couple more minutes, hopefully. Let's 
see. Shame we don't get the Acumenopolis worlds and all of that sort of stuff. Oh! They took a bite out of one of our colonies. The Earth. What? So we lost planet size on the planet Earth. That's bad. Oh well. Oh well. I am playing on fastest star. That's exactly. Exactly what my plan here is. Oh, we're at max alloy cap. Let me just see if I've researched. Yes, I have. Okay, so the other thing I want to do is new ship design, battleship, X slot, L. Uh, no, gamma lasers. Particle lance, order complete. Yes. And then also give me some afterburners. And in fact, I'll go with. I'd actually rather go with the, other, the, the broadside stern to get more afterburners. Okay. And now let's build some of these bad boys. T 10, 20, 30, 45. That's alright. That's alright for as reductions go. And given I'm not. Specifically trying for those reductions. Pretty happy. Pretty happy indeed. Uh, oh, everyone gets 40 years. That's nice. Right, how close are we now to it? Nine months. Oh, we'll have that in a moment then. So, how's everyone doing? How's everyone going? Before we finish up, how are you all feeling about the DLC? You've seen it a lot today. What are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Be interested to hear. What's that next to the leader cap? That's the number of available envoys I have. Welcome to Priest Constantinus. Everyone gets plus 40 is going to take a while in the announcement corner. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Surely that's enough. Oh, I just need to grab a few more systems. All right. Crown Prince, who is a psychic, has leveled up. Um, ooh, investor uh, or architectural sense. Ooh. ooh, I think investor. Oh, there we are. We've won that war. The human empire is very firmly established here in the galaxy. Excellent. Right, how long till leader conditioning? Three months. Well, let's just watch it go. Can't wait for this to come to console in five years. It'll be probably in about a year, to be honest. As a novice player, it seems like it's going to change a lot of what you know. Yes, a lot of your things you know is going to, are going to change. I mean, the way you interact with leaders is very different now. Very different. It's zero months. What? Mm, try again, game. Thank you. Alrighty, everybody levels up. Excellent, let's do it. So, also actually, do we have admirals? No, generals, no governors. Oh yes, we, we do. We can get them. I'm going to try hiring this one governor, see what happens. Did we get him? We did. <gasps> but now he's got no ethic. Apparently she's from the continental world of Earth where she previously held the position of politician. This is a bit broken. But does have Prospectorium Extractor? Um, sorry. 
Interesting. We'll pop her on there. No problem with that, I suppose. All right, let's go down the list. David, you can level up. You're good to go with that. Uh, I suppose we'll go with physics level two for DJ Truth Seeker. Truth, yeah, Truth Seeker. Because he is, of course, a Truth Seeker. Forge Focus 3 plus 35%. Are you bloody kidding me? I hadn't actually seen what the third one level did. 45%. So, I don't even have the Ring World thing up yet. Oh, let me just... Let's just get the building up. I'll unpause the game while we're getting the building up because I've got more things to, 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 to level up. But wow. All right. I could... For a veteran assembler plus 25% mechanical pop assembly. Imagine if you go full synthetic with that. Imagine that with full synthetic. Like, wow. Chances spawn debris minus 25% but plus 10% weapons damage. Don't mind if I do. Actually, no. Next level commanding presence. The grand storyteller. Plus one code breaking. That's pretty good. Civil engineer, geology expert. When you're assisting research, oh, this is a good one. Plus 0 0.25 minerals from miners while assisting research. I mean, there's no miners on Evelyn, but it's still good. Yeah, maybe it's the wrong one, but it's fine. Archivist. Jury rigger. Okay. What's this do? Chance to spawn debris. Minus 100%, but every enemy ship destroyed, random ship in the fleet gets 10% of the hull points back. I'm not sure that's worth it. Guidance system focus, plus 10% explosive weapon and 10% damage and fire rate. Mm, I mean, I don't... I'd rather that... Probably. Uh, a researcher, yes, you're on the council. That's all the leaders. Oh, we're paused. Oops, And let's also do Favoured Society. There's like a few that I like to do in a loop, but I think you'll notice. I do my pref preferences in loops. Alrighty, here we go. We've got the Ministry building. We're now a Forge Capital, which is helping. This is going to go plus one alloy again. Look at all those bonuses stacked up. I feel like a rogue servitor looking at that somewhat. Alright, there's that. Plus one alloy. 18 now. Holy moly. End of the Jackley Union. Well, they 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 they, they did they didn't they weren't gonna make it, were they? Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Um, make sure you've got your autoplay turned on because you're gonna get booted into um, tomorrow's stream. If you've got your autoplay turn on, you get automatically moved on to that one. And so you can set your reminder, see what's going on there. Don't forget that... Um, don't forget that I'm going to be giving away a couple of the DLC tomorrow. So there's that, that's, there's that, that's going to be happening. That'll be fun. Please check Enclave Leaders. You want me to check Enclave Leaders? Unfortunately, as I've said a couple of times, I don't have any Enclaves. I mean, I can... I can, okay, I can hire a lead from these guys. Hire an admiral. Hire a general. So they still have mer mercenary warriors worse now. Oh, that's the general. Admiral has evasion fire rate. They're level 5. And I can just start leveling them up, I suppose. But there we are. Uh, invader. Uh, kidnapper. Here's that trait, the kidnapper trait, so anyone can get it. Leaders can be upgraded to have, uh, generals can be upgraded to have this. It's really good. Kidnapper's really good. But, um, yeah. Uh, as, well, is, there any, is there any others I could grab? Uh, Trade League won't really give me leaders. Salvager won't really give me leaders. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Those are the only ones I have access to right now. I could do... Um, Uh, 
I've done communications. All right, here we go. Curator, uh, curator enclave. Give me a second. Cash. All of it. Really annoying how they like go away after you do your thing. Almost there. Level five, it has the curator trait, 15% research for the entire empire. And 25% survey speed. That's really good. The curator ones are really good. Wowzers. Um, Alright, let's also see about the uh, artist enclave. Oh, there's no, there's no leader I can get from them. Uh, what about... And that's it. I don't... I, there is no... Um, there's no other enclaves. Alright then. Well, I will... Uh, if you click their flag in the interaction instead of OK, it brings back the main menu. Oh, good point, Dart. Didn't know that. Okay, fair enough. Well, anyway, I will see you all tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to be streaming again from like five. Hi, Deadass. Welcome. Nice to see you. Um, I'm going to stream again from five UK time, six European time. That's midday in the States. But until next time, I've been Montu. Thank you very much for joining me on this pre-release stream, having a look at these awesome leaders we've now got. Level nine, level eight. We're only at year 80. This is... All these traits adding up as well. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Um, all right, though. Uh, it's been it's been a blast. Goodbye from me. I'll see you next time, ladies and gentlemen.